What's up, people? You're listening to the Two Pro One Slow podcast, brought to you by Factory Image Racing. Check them out on Instagram at Factory Image Racing. They offer a huge range of hard parts, service parts, tools, and more. All right, we're back. Episode eight. Um, it's a bit of a road race special. We've got if you're if you're listening and not watching, we've got Sam and Alex Lowe's here. So hi, guys. Who's who? Well, he's the slow one in the in the podcast. It's actually it? yeah, it is actually now. It's three three pro, one slow. Two. I'd go with two pro, two slow. Two. You and we, Alex are slow ones. If you can put that mic a little bit closer to you, because otherwise we'll, he got abuse for it. Yeah, we don't really want to hear everything Sam's got to say. We're not, none of us have a chance to speak. <laughs> is this our f- first up. one with the new table? This is the first one with the new table. It's, again, sponsored by Factory Image Racing, as you've heard. So there'll be a giveaway at the end of the episode. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, we'll let you boys choose what we're going to give away. So either going to be an engine clutch cover kit, a titanium bolt kit, or a pit mat. You don't <laughs> like pit mats, do you, Tommy? That's a good giveaway. The engine bulk kit, I'd say, is the top one now. Yeah, I'd say top so too. Left. Well, no, or clutch cover engraved with what you want on it. On yeah. it or something That's on the side. That's not bad, to be fair. You got any clutch covers with on it written yes. on it? Not yet. <laughs> hey. <laughs> now you have. I've seen it. It's, it doesn't say on it. It's scuffed a few clutch covers. the one covers. from Spain, <laughs> have it? Yeah, it does, actually. I ain't got it anymore. Um, it's um, it's we've it's also it. got this desk as well, which I'm going to pull this up so I don't get it wrong. But I'm sure it's J&J Bespoke who's made us a new desk. But I'll just get that. It's a nice desk because you could, have you see the formation if you're watching it. It's not. I'm in a better position now because I can actually look at people. Before I was that news I got the um, shit, the shit chair of the group. Head but of the now table. I feel like um, the, what, almost the best chair of the group. You're running the show. Yeah, I so it's J and J underscore Bespoke on Instagram, and they make bespoke desks and stuff. But I'll put their link in the description. Forever plugging, aren't we? Here? We are non-stop. You got anything you want to promote? Uh, well, I've got my Monster there. I bought these. This is a Monster special as well. Yeah, free Monster athletes. Well, well if you can call me the athlete. true Monster athlete over here with the, with the hat and the can. Yeah, thank you. He's double, the highest paid. Double branding. <laughs> you double. just told us about something for Monster. What? Go on, tell us about that. Oh, I've got a bit of filming coming up. Who wins? Sam. Little mid-season special. But we've got no bikes, no levers, no helmets. Yeah, apart from that, we're <laughs> quite ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> now, apart from that, ready to go. Do they know what they want to do or not? Not yet, no. We can, make, we can have some ideas, actually. Up at the they, farm. They asked the about doing farm. some riding and that, but Alex wasn't too keen, because obviously I'd be quicker than him. That's, I've done some questions on the 2 Pro One Slow page, and that's a lot of the questions, is, is which it? one's the fastest one. Well, it depends. What, what, that, what? You've had that question a lot, I would imagine. I can imagine yeah. over your career, that's been the best. Right then, where are we going to start, Alex or Sam? He's older, isn't he? Is he? Well, yeah. That was another question as well. Right, we'll start with Sam. So, start of the year, uh, Motor 2 is what you're racing, it? Yeah. For anyone that doesn't know what Motor 2 is, because it's quite enduro-based, this podcast, and Motocross. Motor 2 is the class below MotoGP. Um, Sam won two back-to-back. Doha? Yeah, back-to-back, the first two races, and a little bit... Um, down, full. Let's right. say downhill. <laughs> Hero to zero. Came in um, hot, didn't he? Yeah, first half of the year done, got a few weeks off now, but um, yeah, not going too bad, fourth in the championship, a couple of wins, some podiums, some bad races, but um, yeah, not too bad actually. No, just a roller, that's just sport, and sport in general is just a roller coaster, isn't it? Yeah, so. day in the life of Sam Lowe's is a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, just a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> it, it generally is, but just sport in general, fuck, it's hard work. I'm just putting the heat, the, the air con on because it's hot. Oh, now. plugging them again. No, we're not Billy, we'll, just, we'll cut this bit. Plug it a bit, you know, get temperature out, Ed. Do you want it at 22 degrees? Yeah, 20, yeah, not bad. Uh, it's a tad warm, 22, is it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I'm a bit hot. I'll knock it down. Uh, <laughs> get shades on, take your top off. I was expecting that, to be fair. Shirt off? Well, you and him. We off later when... Right. When it's coming home. So then, um, Alex, your KRT Kawasaki rider for World Superbike. How's your year been going? Yeah, not too bad. I had a few podiums. Bit of bubbly last week? A little bit of bubbly last week, home race at Donington, nice to be on the podium. We've only done four rounds, so we're just settling into the season really, so started a bit later because of the COVID, so it's going going pretty well, can't yeah. complain. If For those of you that probably don't follow Alex or not know, Alex managed to jump off it at 140 mile an hour last week? Well, 138, but we can got to round it up, haven't we? A little yeah, bit. 150 better. it was, then round it off a bit. Yeah. So Alex jumped off it about... Week and a half before the home race, so you've been struggling a bit. Yeah, it's last last lap of the test. I just thought I'd give it a bit more, but <laughs> thought I should know better now in my experience. But it's probably a bit too much, and it wasn't that bad really. I just lost the front, and the bike and me slid 
rather fast. I've got a little tad warm. And you wouldn't have been, you wouldn't have been going for it on the last lap of the day, would you? <laughs> <laughs> My bike would have been in the van. In the van, and I'd have been on uh, home by Sh- then. I should have done. Should have thought last lap of the day, roll it off. Go. No, but typical lo- low style. That is just fucking have it at the end of the day. Just having it. At the just end push of the day. to the maximum. Just pushing. Mm. Just one one speed on or off. Bottom line is I was pushing. Just, like, just pushing. Hunch right over in this chair. Oh God, you're never happy, you. No, the new chair's just playing up a bit. Got your new chair, got your new mic stand. No, I like the mic stand. Yeah, what about me? Why did I get the shit one? What? We've never used that. This is the first time we've had four people on the, on the podcast. Yes, no. Oh, fair enough then. And you chose that seat. You could have chose that seat. Basically, I was pushing for absolutely nothing. Does Tommy do that? Um, you used to. Did you? No, I'm actually... How long ago was you pushing for nothing? Fucking years ago. <laughs> no, it's ten years ago. <laughs> when back. was the last time that you pushed for absolutely no uh, reason the last other than you fancied weeks, it? No, that, what was that crash you... Not that long ago, uh, Hawk, test- uh, Hawkstone Park. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was one one. <laughs> Hawkstone that was Park. Crash. We had we had talked about that and there. That that was pushing for absolutely fuck all. Yeah, at a club race. That's what I did. The year just because I exactly what you did. I just got a bit excited um, in the qualifying for no reason, and uh, just since then I've just tamed it down. Yeah, but, but I'm stepping it back up now. Last couple of weeks I've actually really been grafting. I've sort of had a. Real slack for the past eight weeks because I got ill. Kid was going to play school and make me ill every week. So then I just struggled on. Blame the kid. Yeah, yeah no, I'm not even joking. And now, now I'm really, really up to gear. Like, what would you say? Like, fast. if you would you like you're in third or more? Mm, third. Third. Oh, you've got, got third. He's only got five on your bike, haven't you? Yeah, I'll be in four. I'm going to change up the fourth next week, and then the race is the week after. I'll be in fifth. Yeah, I'm going to try and get into top five or six gears. And no, you saw a break. Yeah, you was you was in fifth. Wait, real early, early on. Yeah, I had to change the gearing. I you tell you what. Do you know while we're on the on the subject of gearing, um, it's obviously Goodwood in it at the minute, and Freddie Sheen, Barry's lad, who's over from uh, Australia, he texted me yesterday. And the gears on your bike's different in it. You go down for up and up for down. Yeah. He said he'd forgot on the first day at Goodwood and he went flat out up the straight and went the wrong way and revved it to the moon. <laughs> he changed gear and it went <laughs> boom. Imagine if Barry's land <laughs> just flicked it going up Goodwood Hill. Can you imagine? It'd be funny. That that'd catch me out if I rode a road back, road race bike. Yeah, as soon as you start so you're not thinking about it. Wrong way. Wrong way. <sighs> yeah, I don't know how you do it. I don't oh, know how you get on, on your bike. Bi- on everyone's road bikes, this down is up. What about yeah. BSB? Yeah, you can choose what you want. Ah. But on a street bike, is ah, like normal. Yeah, the same as motocross. Down into first, then up. And for us, it's opposite. Because when you're going into a corner, your body weight forward, it's on easy a, to um, shift. So the people in BSB, you can choose which you want as well. Yeah, yeah, most of them will have race shift, though. Up yeah. Yeah. first and down. In the 95% street. of people that ra- road because race. Because you, you see them when they're tucked in, they go down like that, and that's mm. going up a gear. Because imagine trying watch. to get your foot on. when you're in the straight, like flat out, you have to go up the gears. Ed, Tommy's <laughs> never watched. <laughs> no, one time I was at Ed's and I watched a race. I spent hours up at this track here, pit boarding for you. Well, the other week, I was more I dedicated got, you than you in the pit board. You have to pay for your races. No, you don't. You just log in as Sam Lowe's or Alex Lowe's like I do. You yeah. have not got the login. No one gives me that. They've just... They wouldn't, I think I'd sell it on. Yeah, hey, what about that when you came to me? 20, was it 2014 or 50 when you came to Aragon? I popped it on the back wheel on the warm-up lap for you. Yeah, that was good. Oh, the the night out was better. Yeah. The no, no, that whole weekend was shit because you you booked the hotel that weekend. I left it to you, which was so stupid. Yeah. And you booked it for the week after, so we didn't have a hotel. That don't sound like. Oh uh, no! The first what, what, night what was did. it? A Formula One or something? As well? No, we ended up we ended up in someone's spare room yeah, that, like, that, that knocked part. on the door. The the Friday night was good though. We had a nice hotel. Yeah, because that was left down to me. Yeah, the next one I put wrong weekend. <laughs> hey, we got a couple of good stories actually. What about when you came to watch me at Aston? Yeah, that was good also. Maybe, was it 2017 or something like that? 18? 2017, Pat of Yamaha. Yeah, it was it, it was the same weekend that Joshua fought Klitschko because you kept me up, you and Rocky in the motor. Yeah, we did. We watched that, but that that wasn't the main story. The main story was Alex snapped two two bikes in half on the Friday. Again, completely unnecessary. <laughs> Friday practice and Ed turns up and he said, oh, see the see the guys? So, uh, probably not the best time. They're still grafting because... It, they, they'd had dinner and it was bars. 11 o'clock at night and there was parts everywhere across the floor because he'd just put two in, two in bits. Were they chuffed or not? No, they weren't that chuffed. Can't really do that in ours. The best was when he watched me and I said he watched us to start on the warm-up lap. <laughs> yeah, and he was, that was that not a bad start. It was a warm-up lap, Tom. <laughs> I ran out. I ran back to his pit box and was like, I can't remember what I said now. And then the, the people in his pit box went, sight lap. And I was like, oh, all right. Cool. <laughs> 
And then I was well chuffed for him. I think he got away first and then ran running in. Started shouting. Now, I don't know where he was, but it was like first or second. I was like, he's second. And then I was like, this is this warm up lap. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like right swat. Have you, you boys come from motocross, haven't you? Well, Back in line. Loose, loose. Yeah. Yeah. No, but most, most road racers have had a go at motocross. And you boys did, didn't you? Yeah. To start with. Only till 11. Yeah, it's a long time now. From when did you start motocross? 10. Oh, really? <laughs> no, maybe <laughs> six or seven. Both yeah, linked right, off First years. motocross race, we're next to each other on K sixes at the start. Fengate motocross at Peterborough, and we both looped out. As soon as the gate dropped, <laughs> right. dumped the clutch, both of us right. looped yeah, it. Yeah, that, that, that summed you two up straight away. Yeah. Like you couldn't. That's fucking perfect, yeah, you yeah. two. I looked across, he was just laid out. <laughs> 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 both the clutches gone, that was it. Yeah. Fantastic Yeah, because I. You used to race people like Elliot Banks Brown, yeah, I um, Cottrell, James Cottrell. Who else? Just those two. You actually beat them, didn't you? you I, I did. Fame to fame. I was a bit older than them. I think I was. I like stayed in the sixty fives as long as I could to be like a. Oh uh, yeah, because Alex went eighty five before you went eighty five. Yeah, yeah but the embarrassing thing. One eighty five, Tom. It was CR eighty. Still the eighties. Small no, world. Yeah, 80, but that was the same as me. Oh, that's all right then. Don't feel too bad. He's older than us, isn't he? Oh no, actually, I had eighty fives. I think I might have done the same. We'd have had. K- Fucking hell, dribbling all over the mic now. <laughs> KX, getting excited about the 80s. KX60s we were on, yeah, and then yeah. 85s. He went to a 65, Sam, and then I was on an 80. Yeah, but it depended on what brand you rode. If you rode Honda. It, Honda was an 80, but Yams yeah. were 85s in that, weren't they? Oh, were they? The guy that used to win when, uh, when the I was racing the last year was Thomas Matthews, he was called. Yeah, Tom was good. Sheffield. I used to go stay at his house. Yeah. He used to ride up here quite a bit. He used to go Barnsley Metro. He was really good. Like yeah. a good swimming pool. Yeah. Finger banging. No, I was only like <laughs> fucking 12. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen them pictures when you two were younger. On the, what was it on one of their YouTubes when you're in America? You look real cool for dress sense. So. Oh, no, sure that wasn't was even younger. Out. That wasn't long ago. That was 10 years ago. That was when he's 20. But, but it got worse than that before. Mm. Oh, yeah. dear. You, the first time I met Tommy was here. Um, his manager brought him up and he jumped out the back of a van and he had a, he had a night hat on and a quiff underneath it. TN hat. Both of them pointing off together. And... I just look. thought, oh my god, who's this geezer? Adidas tracksuit bottoms, uh, TN trainers, top in or not? a Carbrini t shirt, and um, a night TN hat. I just used to run it every day. I met, the first time we. Every day. We met you properly. <laughs> I didn't own a track. set of jeans. Jamie Dobb. First time we sort of met Tommy, you'd already made it by then. Yeah. It no. looked like it anyway. Turned up at the gym, mint car, black rims, shades on. No, nah, that was like 2012. Already made it. Well, yeah. that was my peak. All oh, right. I'm fucking downhill since then. I remember thinking when I, grew, <laughs> when I grew up, I wanted to be like Tommy Searle. Yeah, I remember you actually saying that. Chicks everywhere. Yeah, fucking natural. Couple, like couple of that. Old Soph's lucky, ain't she? Managed, managed to fucking very peg you down. Do actually, you want, what no, that was, my, that was my prime, wasn't it? But then it's just slowly, um, slowly dropped off since. You two <laughs> sort of... Well, you was late bloomers. Oh, well, it's different in ours. I think it's a bit like that. Road yeah, road racing. Yeah. Mar- well, you can say that. If, in motocross, it's different now. Every now and again, someone comes in pretty good that's young, but like the kid who now leading the world championships in the 250 class, Matteo Guadalini or something. Not sure. Mm. Yeah, is that what it's just said? Can I speak about that? Italian. It's coming home, isn't it? So it's a bit awkward at the minute. Speaking yeah, it's and, Sunday. It's oh, the yeah. World Cup day, so it's either going to be... Grafting on a Sunday. Yeah. Double time today. I'm not paying you. No, but back to the subject. <sighs> Come on then. Um, They're older in now. sports, yes, yeah, some people can older. You ever get the you get the odd someone like Prado Hurlins that comes in, but uh, like the guy who's leading the world championship now, he's first year in world championship. I think he's already 21, so a little bit later on. I think it's better a bit later, you know. Just give what you retire at 30. What are you going to do then? What is the, like what me. is the crack in your boys' sport? Like the. I don't know the set way. Obviously, in motocross, it's ride all the youth stuff. What? How? How do you go to? Is it BSB or what? Yeah, for a British rider, it's difficult. That's why there's not so many because coming through British Fucking championship. Fucking loads in that world superbike. Yeah, for world British. superbike is good for the British because yeah, the world superbike, superbike so we've not quite made it, are we? To MotoGP. No, MotoGP is sort of through Europe, through Spanish yeah. championship. Yeah, is that Rebel Rookies Cup? Yeah, quite, Rookies Cup is good. Rookies Cup, Spanish championship, Moto Three that that way. And if you're in Britain. BSB classes. Uh, it's difficult because the level is not as high, but the level in BSB is good. So if that's why you go to World Superbike. To, yeah, yeah, BSB then World Superbike. It's sort of a different way. Yeah, because you grow up riding a superbike compared to riding like a 
prototype bike, like in Moto 3, Moto 2. It's a yeah. slightly different bike. What's the Spanish Championship? What do they race then? Nikki? Moto 2 is Prototype, the main class. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, because it's quite a big risk, say, f- to go from BSB to then go Moto 2. It's like, fucking hell, what's he doing that for? Yeah, but in general, general like step. in motocross, the, you, you can ride a lot more in England. We can't ride in England. So if you're a young guy, 12, 13 years old, even younger in England. Yeah, you can't do it. And the mentality of the English, you still go to school. You do your racing on the weekend. I am. Not Tommy, but in, in road racing. And then by the time you get to 16, 17, and you're in the British Superstar, British Supersport, 18, 19, if, you, if you're winning, moving to Superbike. Yeah. Marquez was met a GP world champion by 20, 21. So you're so far behind, which is, that's a little bit of the problem why we haven't got as many Brits in, in GPs. Yeah. You was wiring up houses at that point. Sam was blowing me up down quarries when trying, trying, to, to. trying to pull cables. No, in it's true though. When you... Marquez was winning races in Grand Prix. When you first come to the gym, you would come to the gym and then you would train and then you'd shoot off to work. Yeah. Leave at four in the morning from Lincoln, drive over, train with Kirk. At two hour session. No, it. two hour drive to train and then you drive back to go to work. Yeah, and watch Sam trying to swim at Moorways in Derby. Remember <laughs> yeah. that? That's, yeah. that's amazing, wasn't it? I've not got any better at swimming now. Nah, I'm worse. No. I think I'm worse. <laughs> but to be fair, then you two want that where you were just new to fitness, really, new to training, that you was working before. Yeah, I remember when you used to be fit. Yeah, I, I was fit back then. Yeah, I'd back smoke then. you. Like if my fitness then would still smoke you two now. Who used to destroy <laughs> us? At, who used to destroy us at the running track? Um, uh, Ricky Chris or Elliot yeah. was pretty fast Driving. at running. Yeah, just, and we just used to be like cruising around. Yeah, you want runners back then. Haslam would do one lap fast and pull up with a bad leg. Yeah, every, every week Haslam would do the yeah, same thing. That's sort of how week. we all met, in it really through Kirk through training. Yeah, well, yeah. I say we. I came and joined Tommy. You came a few times. Yeah, I used to call you both mate until yeah. Kirk said that Alex is on the runner and Sam's on the rower and then you'd have different colour t-shirts and I'd remember who you I, were. I knew we had different colour trainers because you'd wear the same trainers every day. You wouldn't like swap trainers. So one of you had like a blue pair, one of you had a red pair. <laughs> I'd just call him mate. <laughs> All, right, All right, mate. mate. All right, mate. We used to look more alike though. Con- yeah. Not anymore. <clears throat> no, you've not gra- You've sort of got wider and, and shorter. <laughs> not grown. Dad life, mate. And he's sort of longer now. Skinnier. I'm in better shape then. No, nah, not better physical shape, just no, different or body mental shape. shape. No, no, no of your shape is better than my shape. <laughs> are you confident, Sam? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's probably a good trait of yours, isn't it, confidence? Mm. I like sometimes a little bit. <laughs> you lack it? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, it's a little bit of self-belief sometimes. Not often? No, not very often, no. <laughs> Goodness <laughs> sake. But it has happened before. Yeah, it happened once, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was real fit, so it happened as well. <laughs> you didn't want to get rejected, so yeah. like, I ain't going to talk to her. <laughs> Oh dear! Wow, not not anymore. You're all loved up, married men. Not yet. No, you're getting married. No, you're not. I've still, I've still got belief on my side. But yeah, married next year, I think. Well, COVID helped me yeah, out with that. Got, got like, cancelled. Delayed it a bit. Yeah. I'm married. I know. <sighs> you got a ring on your finger, special one, and all that tells you your heartbeat and all of that. Yeah, I know. She loves all that, doesn't she? The wife. Tommy's the same. They they track their sleep and then discuss how much sleep they've had. How much you had last night, Thomas? Nightly cheap recharge, good. Good. What does that mean? What's good? It says good. Oh, so you feel a good, good today. sleep. Yeah, I've had a good sleep tonight. How many hours? I've not been napping as much recently. <laughs> Fuck it now. It's quite funny, really, this podcast, because back in the day, we we're talking about good times. Now, this is, this is the only time to get away. We sit here and... Yeah, this has been hard to organise. <laughs> chat about it in the workshop. <laughs> I'm not allowed out. Sam is generally not allowed to leave his I house. I haven't been back a week. Permission. I am allowed out. Two weeks. You've been. This is the first time he's been up. He only lives a mile away. First time we've seen him. Al's allowed out a little bit now, but it won't be soon. No, soon he's done, isn't he? And, um... <laughs> yes. When I get, Sam's yeah. just done, yeah. been done I, for I a while. can do anything I want to do. As long as, long as you ask. As long as I ask Marina, yeah. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, I'm going to ask a couple of questions off this thing because there were some good ones earlier. Rich coming from Tommy over there. I'm surprised... Yeah. I'm flat fair, out these days. It's a Sunday and you're out. Yeah, you, you're all right. I'm, bu- I'm busy. Yeah, you're only all allowed out because I've invited you around for a barbecue after so you can watch the football. Yeah, that's nice of you, to be honest. I always p- persuade cars with a bit of nice food. Like, yeah, I, I want know. 20 quid each, though. Yeah, oh, well, obviously. Struggling on, aren't you? I'm not coming then. Come on then, right then. Here we go. Who's the fastest? Well, me, innit? Easy. <laughs> don't even need to answer it. Yeah, but it depends <laughs> what. Road racing, we can't. Let's, let's, let's not. No, what I, I'm gonna I could answer uh, all these questions for you because you just argued flat track hours way faster. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. He's done a lot more. So, because Sam's not allowed out. It's exactly. the first time <laughs> you've practice. told the truth. Today. I'm gonna fish for a story here because I know that there's some form of a story where one of you took one of you out on the last lap and then yeah. strangled the Alex other one. Me out. So don't tell Dad. When I was a lot younger, I was always faster than Sam. I used to jump on whatever bikes it was and be faster straight away. I did, though, didn't I? Well, just admit it. <laughs> 
CV. <laughs> you know, it's, it's fact. We can only talk facts. No, we're not. No, talk we're results not. if you want. Yeah, back in the early days, you never beat me. I can't remember. Exactly. That means they never beat me. And then we, we got these one, two, five Grand Prix GP bikes, they're called 2004, doing a little race at Cadwell Park before the British Championship race, like a warm up, like the Hawkston race before I, you did. I actually beat you in super teams and all. So. Yeah, you did a couple of times. Anyway, <laughs> he was going a bit faster than me. And I thought, oh, can't stay with him today. So I just took him out. <laughs> <laughs> I just let the break go. I didn't mean to take him out. I just thought, I've got to get back past him. I want much space. And I Don't thought, I'm going for it. And unfortunately, he crashed. So I won. But then your dad, didn't Sam get you? He got me against the van and like, up against the, don't tell, don't fucking tell dad. <laughs> he scared of me as well back then. <laughs> I was smaller than you. Make me sound like me. a bully. You Does your bully dad, me. obviously your dad knows now. He knows now, yeah. yeah years loves later. Like loves it. 12, 13 years later. <laughs> someone put a picture on Facebook, didn't they? Yeah, been taking me out. It's a great picture, it is. I thought yeah. I would have to find it. Just on the contact, I got me taking him out and he, he finds it funny now, but at the time he wanted on, would he? Yeah, yeah because it cost the, him a fortune. At the time, I guess Maybe. he was playing for the bikes, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah he was playing for the bikes and he... And they were he, new. And, and he, he was... Yeah, pre- not a good one. He was, pretty ang- he was pretty angry at the best of times, so he wouldn't, that wouldn't have gone down that well, really. No. He, he's brilliant, your dad. He came here the other day and done some wiring for me, and pr- a job that would take most people three hours. It took him about 15 minutes. Yeah. Just, just like, like didn't stop. Minute. Yeah, just didn't stop. Chunked in a way. Offered him a coffee, out. he went, nah, 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 nah. No, no. Ed, no work time for a coffee. No, Got work no. to do. That's what he said. <laughs> Who's the older one of the two of you, then? Me. Two minutes older than he is. Worst two minutes of my life, and I wasn't even here. <laughs> Very important two minutes, that, isn't it? Never mm-hmm. going to get them back. Yeah, but I thought you was in pole position. Yeah, we was, whatever you call it, cesarean. Sunroof. So I, yeah, it was just out the sunroof. I was ready to come out on the grid in front of him, and then something happened, so we had to come off the back. <laughs> so he ended up being older. But uh-huh. every, everything about how we go, I always have to look after him, I think. So I to, <laughs> I'm like the older brother. You had more time inside preparing. Who acts like the older one? Yeah, I, 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 I will know. agree with you. I haven't seen Sam for years. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice. No, we generally didn't see you a lot last year because you stayed away, didn't you, for COVID? It was hard work with COVID, yeah. yeah I was here, shit. then I was in Italy. Mm. So, yeah. Um, have either of you ever considered racing motocross or enduro? Yeah, well, I would have considered it if I was fast enough. I'd enduro, say, no, no chance. No, no, no chance. And yeah, motocross, no chance at all. You wouldn't do it. Obviously, you're successful at your sports, you. Thank so you, you wouldn't cross over. Cheers, but, Joe, like last year, what was it last year where you all rode together? Where did we ride? Motocross. We went on that ride day, didn't we? He obviously pretends he's going to ride with us, Tommy. And then every time he comes close when? to me... Oh, we hired... The high, when you, were, you could only hire tracks and there was Justin Morris hired a track and we all went... Yeah, Justin, oh, we that all, was a good day. Yeah, it was a great day. I was going to say, so in terms of motocross... Is it VIP? Maybe, but... Uh, yeah, been, it's VIP. Not you fast boys, enough to race, there. but in terms of enjoying it... Yeah, have a love good it. day. Love having a good day out riding. But he just tried to scare us every time you come past, make sure uh, you don't. Nearly hit me with your back wheel off that jump. No, took my peak Yeah, no, nah, I did get a bit excited. Just but that day it's was only the same good. as you boys when we go on a road race track like Ron Aslam training school and you just sideways past us all I would try and help genuinely. yeah but it's different because motocross looks cool in hours you can overtake fast but it doesn't look good does nah, it no nah, it looks back cool it when in. you back it in I tried yeah, to back it in past Tommy in. at the Melbourne loop I could back it Remember in that? I passed you back <laughs> you passed <laughs> and left you yeah you left me but yeah, I you. actually rode road I had a tra- when I was 12 I think someone paid for me uh, from road race like a road race guy I can't remember his name now but he, I went, he got me all the levers and a helmet. I still got the helmet now. I got to pick one, like a Rossi replica. Um, and then i done a tryout day on Darling road Moore. race. I think it was Darling Moore. So a triangle track. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a triangle. Were you yeah. not feeling it? No, I was, I was going all right. And then before the last session in the day, because of their insurance, some kiddie crashed in front of me and I uh, got a bit too hard on the front brake, front wheel tucked under. Um, and that was, you couldn't get back so on the crashed. bike after your crash because of their insurance. So I'd done like three out of the four sessions. The fourth session was the one I was actually looking forward to because anyway, instead of getting coached, you could just ride around the track. Um, but I didn't get to do that session because I crashed. So it's my day. So you've done one day road racing, you've crashed it. It's difficult, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's why I crash a lot because it's hard. No, they did the, ra- did the runners and race school. Yeah, I've done, no, but I'm just saying I've done the, the runners and race school a couple of times, but I actually got done a tryout for road race when I was a kid. No, that was the best when it was you and Mel Pocock. Yeah, and Mel was putting his leg out. And Mel put his leg out into red <laughs> gate. Yeah, he ran a bit well. wide at turn one. He's going towards the grass. Next minute, legs out. That's the best thing <laughs> I've ever Chops seen. Him. Following him with his but leg out. But he just lent it over. Just lent it over. Yeah, but you always put your leg out now anyway. It's like yeah, a on thing. the break in. On the break in to try and, I don't really know why, to help your body weight push the. Because Rossi the done it. Yeah, Rossi did it once and everyone does it now. Mm. Yeah, but that's like when Stuart used to take his leg off and then everyone decided they were going to. True. Or scrub. Mm. 
No, it must do something. Can you, do you reckon you're going to start scrubbing one day or not? Oh, you used to. I've, that day's gone. Yeah, scrubbing the floor. Yeah. I've, yeah. When he quits. I've, um, <laughs> I've done all that. That's yeah, way gone. That's got us behind you. No, last week I seen a couple of cheeky whips up there. Yeah, yeah up there, but I don't do it in races. Do you know the best thing is, it's a true story as well. You're riding around doing that motor the other week, and as soon as I got, you saw one lap, I had the phone out, you thought, oh, might be taking videos. So the next lap you came past. Yeah, I can do it for the video or yeah. vlog. Did it for the Insta. I can do. I can pull it out the bag when I need to, but move when you have to. Yeah, move when I have to. But, but it's just hard doing. But is it faster time. when you hit a jump on your racing? And you whip it. Is it no, not whipping. It scrubbing. Scrubbing's faster. Yeah, it's faster, but risk reward, isn't it? It's a bit dangerous these days. Fucking <laughs> 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 hell! <laughs> Fucking is a lot of effort, a lot of um, lot of energy. I like flat landing when I do motocross. <laughs> I, f- I enjoy that. Yeah, you boys actually good. jump some jumps. That the new track we built up there. Oh, granted, all right, the jumps a little bit different, but you, it's. It was as big as that before, and you both jumped mm. it. Yeah, you're actually dangerously like, yeah, yeah, ghosty. Yeah. I'm not too bad. I can ride when mm. I have to. No, you I actually can't. can ride a bike. Alex is uh, definitely when, faster than Sam. The year we had with Sam, one year we all went to California. What year was that? End of fifteen, was it? Yeah, not we. Alex, nah, you didn't. Well, Just we Alex, did, me and Sam. That was when we was. Uh, yeah, jumped and landed at Laguna Beach. You told me. Yeah, I was going to come, so we went out there. I used to go always go to America. Before in the pre-season to ride and then Sam come. We was all going to, but Al had a test before and then dislocated his shoulder. Yeah, that was nice. Sat on the sofa getting yeah. all the pictures. So Great. Sam was at home. Good times. Al was at home and then we rode and Sam was flat out every day. Then we'd done a night session at Paris, over jumped the jump. Yeah, so but I think the worst thing was, yeah, was I must on. have done because I'd done like one session and I was halfway through the session and I still and I jumped it. Obviously not fast, but I jumped it double the distance I had to jump. And I was in the and air he, just thinking, oh no. Yeah, you come at he says, I've hurt my foot. Yeah, I, I think it was and probably I bounced broken, as high, wasn't it? I bounced as high as what I went and all. Yeah, I think you generally broke your foot, but you just dug in because you was out there and rode the rest of the trip. Yeah. Was it kids, kids track or? Is that the same no, trip that Paris Sam track, had about good. five or six pairs of boots? Yeah, I, yeah. I, did, I did end up getting a bit, and then I had the wrong boots on, didn't I? Yeah, for the, the photo, photo shoot, shoot as well. Yeah. That's t- where, where was that? Glen, Glen Helen? Yeah, you went there and TCX was sending you boots. Yeah. And then you just thought, fuck, fuck it, yeah, I mate, need them now. Some monster gear in the, in the so Fox bought a full set of Fox boots. No, no, I bought the Alpine Star ones. That's some sand. And then I got some Fox yeah. ones and wore them because they were better. Yeah. Yeah. So you had TCX, Fox and Alpine Stars sponsored by TCX. Yeah. I should have obviously wore TCX because they had the best boots. Yeah, then we the done market. a monster. Yeah, then we done a monster <laughs> photo shoot and wore his Fox boots. Yeah, it didn't go down well. Though. No. Patience, not his strongest. And then Attribute. you left them TCX and mate sold them and kept the money. He did, didn't he? He's yeah. done you over. He's done me over there. Big I've time. got to say, yours at home. I'm going to do the same with. <laughs> I, I was chasing you around there. I was only a couple of seconds off. I think Glen yeah. Helen to the track. That was hard work. That was for me around there. <laughs> that was good though. That's a hard. We show. got pictures of that whipping the jumps. That's I only just in. got up the hill. <laughs> did you actually like that track or not? Yeah, not easy though. No, it's not an easy track. Yeah, lovely. They're good out there, aren't they? Prepared well. Yeah. The track. It's nice. Right. Nice to nice for road racers to ride out there because they're easier tracks. Yeah, uh, probably you've got here. Glen Ellen's not easy. No, but it was prepared quite well. Prepared wasn't it? Nice that day was early. Where I rode Milestone one year after Laguna. It was great. Yeah, I remember you saying he rode Milestone the first time I ever went to America. Spanned himself, punches mm. along, and then a night in hospital. That's good. Oh. I'd only been in America. Great track. Good Five hours. No, I remember the doing. It. Well, I don't great. remember the day, but oh, I do remember the day. Good track though. All all of it's out there. Good riding. I was riding around and Jason Anderson. Nearly landed on me, and I thought it was the best thing I've ever. <laughs> best thing ever. <laughs> <Claim to fame. laughs> um, which one of you is better at golf? Me. He's close. That. Right, we played, we just, we just played this sport. week. I'm injured, and I still beat you. Well, we drew actually. Okay. Yeah. Do you play the same handicap? Yeah. Exactly the same. Mm. So who are, who wins the more? Al wins more, but he plays more. But this week we had four yeah. four days proper tournament. Nothing else to say. He's already said it. And you won. Well, he drew, so I don't know why he thinks he won. I gave you shots this week at the end, so I would have won by a shot. Why Honestly. would you give him shots? Like a little chihuahua a dog. So you it, no, you won one day, so you had to lose a shot. I was most consistent. You're not competitive, though, at all between the pair of you, is it? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another competitive question, then. Oh. Silverstone in the wet or the dry, who goes faster in what on the same bike? Uh, depends what bike it is. Like record round there. What about if, if you, you both got on a bike that you're not, not you don't ride now? So like I don't know, like a six hundred something or other. Um, uh, we're both one of our strengths. We're quite good at riding. How many poles you had around Silverstone? Well, I had one in BSB. Got to throw it back a long way though to get. How there. many you have? Uh, minimum two. So in Grand Prix, so I'm faster <laughs> around there. What was your? I won round there. I what was your lap time on the 
Because you raced him out of GP race at Don. Uh, oh yeah, no, so that you, was Silverstone. You, you, yeah, that, so was the question Silverstone or Don? Silverstone, it was. Yeah, well, you have rode. A, my, my, yeah, you've been quick around there. No, because it was wet that weekend. Yeah, I was good in the wet. I was better in the wet than the dry. He jumped on the, the bike well. three yam, yeah, didn't yeah, you for 16, a weekend? Sixteen, yeah. That felt fast when I got on. I bet it did. Jump on a motor GP bike. I thought, oh, it's going to feel all right. I went out of pit lane. I thought, oh, yeah. <laughs> what, now it's going to be faster yeah. than The gearbox was like just shifting through butter. Oh, you couldn't even tell you shifted. I thought, oh, that's impressive. And I forgot to brake at the corner. Then I thought, <laughs> the heck. Carbon brakes. But if it's, we're both, I'm pretty good in the wet nowadays, though. Yeah, in the wet, in the wet, I'd maybe say you. It'd be close, though. I'm not too bad. It'd be, it'd be close, whatever bikes it was. It depends who was there on the day. But if we rode now on a super bike, it, destroy me if I rode on a Moto2 but I'd destroy it's him hard, it's, it? it's, it's hard, hard to say, to say yeah. faster yeah. because you don't ride the same bike yeah but if you rode a super bike I'd destroy him if you rode a Moto2 bike he'd just beat me so <laughs> you decide what you want I, you I rode that yeah, R1 on your test in Barcelona the other year you couldn't I was yeah. towing you around he has rode a super bike a couple of times I remember he rode that remember you rode that stock Suzuki I had in 2015 and Kia had been winning BSB races and I said to Sam was at Mallory Park tough like a real small tough track in England and he's I was at a bike off Suzuki to do some practicing because we had like a big break in the calendar and Sam's like oh I'll have a go so he comes past and after about four laps past Kia into turn one <laughs> he'd been winning BSB races two on weeks before on a stock Suzuki it was like a stock super, BSB super bike. stock bike with slicks yeah and he just comes sending it that felt, fast. I was on, <laughs> that felt fast for me that day because real small track <laughs> <laughs> just jumped on it from like super sport or a motor two bike it felt so was he there. faster than you that day but he didn't ride I didn't <laughs> ride he just wanted to have a go so he did mm. and Mallory as well people watching know Mallory and Sam was risking like it was a Grand Prix qualifying session life and limb for a, a lap time yeah on, for a lap time for no but reason you, yeah but you say no reason no, for me every lap's important it's glory now <laughs> look, at, look at the glory he's got now from it every lap's important that you ever do because someone could be, someone could be watching yeah. someone could have a stopwatch <laughs> on you and think, you know, that, I yeah be but that generally is your two's, your two's uh, mentality that's, that's my lap well there'll be a time where I'm not doing laps anymore so mm. now I try and nah, make them all count <laughs> You can top, see that. Top any session, I'm happy with it. Loves it. <laughs> there, you never know when there's a lap timer. Someone could just have a sly yeah. one in the pit. You never know when there's a little kid watching, thinking, yeah, well, I want to be like him. He's fast, that lad. Yeah. No, but that generally is your two's mentality. Just give it everything. Yeah. Every lap, then go home. Yeah. Go big or go home, and it's coming home. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> it could, could well be. Could well be coming home. Um, there's a question here that says, give us some examples of when Sam was Alex and Alex was Sam and vice versa. Well, there's a few. Oh, there's, most of these you can't really say I can <laughs> definitely not why well, do they involve oh, we, we haven't done I know honestly, one that was involved birds we haven't done that much but um, yeah obviously a bit with women growing up when we were single not now ye- talking years ago <laughs> <laughs> no, like. yeah one time was funny because I was like ah oh, did you know it was Sam she's like well he's a bit nicer he's, bit, he's being too nice so I thought oh great that's not very yeah, don't, yeah, go that well. don't go down well for me one of them said, oh, I knew it was Sam because if it was Alex, you'd have kissed me first. <laughs> <laughs> I get, um, I've been to a couple of races with you and you must get it a lot just from the small time that I've spent with you. It's always like, fans are like, how did you get on in that session? Yeah, I had like, a little bit of Donington, I went to watch Alex, but he was on track. It was literally, I was, I was watching him, he was going around the track and people coming asking for pictures of Alex. I was thinking, it's nice though, because it's nice anyone asked for a picture of one of us, but it was. I was thinking, well, it's obviously me because he's done the track. <laughs> <laughs> Probably thought you was riding. Yeah. Could have done. Yeah, maybe thought you crashed. I did a fitness Definitely test. Definitely could have thought that. I well, no, a good fit was Alex. Yeah. I thought Alex had crashed. Yeah, there yeah. Was, I did a fitness test for him once at Monza. He smashed his shoulder up and I got in the room. He obviously couldn't This is for racing? Yeah. This oh, this is, a, this is a question. Yeah, and he says to me... 2011. And I anyway, I got in there and I did another fitness test and I got the wrong shoulder. So I'm holding my right shoulder and it was his left shoulder, but we managed to get... Yeah, uh, Doug, you, you can do a press up. It does about thirty. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you thought Kurt was in there. Can't and you? where were you in the motor room, just icing it up? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even that bad, but it was funny. Yeah, it was alright. Finished fourth in the race. Fit, yeah, qualified on front row. Finished fourth or fifth. So it's worth it. It's when it used to be fast. You've asked yourself a question here, Alex. What did I say? Whose missus is fitter? <laughs> You're not going to say that I asked that. <laughs> it was you, Alex Lowe's, asking himself his own question. Um, mine, mine. What is your most memorable memory of of riding as kids? I guess all three of you can have that. Yeah. What's your most memorable memory, Tom? Big as kids best? or as uh, no, in as career? Kids, as kids. So like, that's what it under, says. Under, kids. Under, under I can't. Still class as a kid. Well, now. before you turn pro, then let's say that. 
When, um, you, you what? Pro, are you a pro? <laughs> Who's a pro? Yeah, there's only one pro. That's you, Ed. No, no, right. The memory <laughs> that's just come into my head was, I'm just trying to think now of a memory, and then there was one, it wasn't even from, I was trying to think of which races was good, but then there was one time when I was racing the British Championship, and there's a race at Donington Park, the old motocross track at Donington Park, and um, I broke my, or well, I'd done some BMX jumps on the Friday afternoon in the garden, and then I I crashed the last one. My auntie come up to film me doing them. I was like, I can't film me get these, and I had this rhythm section in the garden, like three doubles in a row, and then I dropped the front wheel a bit early on the last one, went over the handlebars, put my hand out, and then my I didn't tell anyone, but I, I went out, jumped. We had a well, I went out, jumped in a little pool. We had a swimming pool at home, and then. Try think moving it in the water when you're in a bath or something, everything feels better than this. So and then I went up to a bath, had a bath, washed all the dust off me, got in the camper, went up the back, bunk, and didn't even come down. And then woke up the next day, tried to ride, but I couldn't ride because I broke my wrist. So I just got ready like normal still, went out on the track, and then started crying. And that, this was when I was on a 125, so probably 14. What was you like, 20? <laughs> <laughs> no, 14, but I am. Um, and then I. Dad's like, what's up with you? And I just says, oh, I crashed my BMX wrist and I broke my hand. And where and was the race? Donington. Donington. So, so he made I, him drive three and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, without telling him. Knowing you were going to... No, he didn't mind. He Dad should, never got mad. You should have gone You should have gone down on your outlap, put your arm out. Yeah, yeah see, if I was one of you two, well, you could have... I've got the same over. story. I've got a similar story. Remember, yeah. super, pretty super spot, Sam Cadwell. I would have been 16 and uh, I've high-sided, but on like the first lap, stupid mistake, I guess. And I've done broke my... I hurt my wrist, but I thought, oh, I can't say it. Dad's not going to be happy. So I thought, I've got to race. Anyway, so <laughs> went out in the qualifying. It was killing me, really bad. And then uh, there's like a section at Cadwell called like the Chris Curvin through the gooseneck, and it's proper bumpy. Got a bit of a tank slapper on. I couldn't hold on. It just flicked me off. I was quite small <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so I just flicked off at 120 mile an hour. I was in a made out that hurt myself. But I was oh, you hurt yourself in that <laughs> crash? <laughs> yeah. I just thought, ah. Oh. I don't want to tell him I've crashed on the... It was already mad that I've crashed on the first lap. So then to say I'm injured as well, I thought I'll just try and put a brave face on just it. Just made out the, cra- the injury from... Was that the was made twice crash. as bad, hasn't it? So that's what you yeah. do when you're younger. Same thing. So I lost the British Championship that year. I won 65-85. 50-65-85, small wheel, big wheel, and then I didn't win the 125 because of that. Because you crashed a BMX <laughs> in your garden. Mm. Yeah, but did it... But it didn't really matter. Fuck, when you're... A, you're young, you think everything matters, don't you? But when you look back now, the schoolboys, like, people take it so seriously and then you look back, it makes no odds. Yeah, if you're fast, you're fast, aren't you? Mm. It's enough. But people do take it fucking seriously. Too much, really. So what's kids, yeah. It's hard when you're little. There's kids. Well, RS micro rooms and stuff. They, does well, anyone do that in your sport? Yeah. 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 What, full? It's every sport. Yeah, every too. sport, isn't it? My dad, we had an RS. They were one of the first ones. Loved it. We used to race every weekend. Mega. No, I you, think it's good though that when you get older, people are willing to. Yeah, give it no, a go. you see it. It's passion, isn't it? Yeah. When you get older, now we are. You look back. Sometimes you think, oh, it's a bit unreasonable, but you just get caught in the moment. Yeah, people are just. But they love the it. The parents love you'll it. You'll be you'll be caught it. in the moment soon. Yeah. Your little lad will just be taking an interest, and yeah. you keep saying you don't want him to ride. And before you know it, you'll be at every fucking race going on Sunday. I'm like, what? Yeah, you you just you'll have your high vis bib on. You'll be running around. You see it from other professional riders like Liam Everts, his dad. Yeah. Sean, yeah. his kids. All so they've all done it. They know the crack, but they still end up doing it with their kids. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you think about it as well, and then you look back, you understand the effort that the parents go. Oh, the, the my effort dad that the parents put, put in. My dad used to put in, or yours the same. The things they used to do oh, to get us massive, there. Yeah, you understand a bit yeah. more about how there was. But Fuck, I wouldn't do that for my kid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Alf, if you're nah. watching this, you know, no, like, 10, 15 know. years, you're fucked. <laughs> my dad had with no clue about motocross. I don't know if your dad rode road race, but um, mm, he had no interest in motocross as a, or he just didn't do it. Like it was no, yeah, so he didn't it wasn't know. A, he knew nothing about the sport. Yeah. So when we got these bikes, we started doing it. Everything was new to him. And then we would drive, we lived in Kent, but we'd drive to, I remember driving all the way up to ride Finnanley, driving further to practice, like four hour drive. We used to leave it probably five in the morning get to a track for nine do a coaching day with say anyone really we could get a coaching day with then drive back dad would get back at nine at night so we'd leave from like five get back at nine at yeah. night all for a day's practicing and if I, if I do it with my little one it'll be you ride the track it's fucking mile up the road mate same thing <laughs> do you know what I mean yeah, but but to, you know. when you, yeah when you know you're just like Dad obviously thinks you've got to take him to that track. He needs to practice on that track. Then go to that track. He needs to practice in the sand. You don't even when you're like driving yourself at the minute. Well, no, I wouldn't. Well, now we've just got this track. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've not left you're just it. wasting your time driving yeah. from Dad three was, hours to Dad go ride. Same with us. The I think, yeah, same thing. When you, 
you just waste your time driving. You could you could train at home and then go ride and then train again. Not that I would, but you could. Yeah. You two Look would. at the train once in a day, mm. not twice. No, I'm back on the two times a day program. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking... Doubling up. Doubling up. Um, this one's from Alex Panda thirty seven, and it's a, it's a two part question. So it's Alex, do you miss the sound of the R one? And Sam, are you ever looking to move back up to MotoGP? So we'll go Al first. The sound of the R one. Hmm. Uh, yeah, obviously R one was nice, but you move on to. I can't really do say they, that. Do now. they sound different or not? Your yeah, bikes? They're, they're, to be fair, that in terms of just sounding the. The R1 sounds really nice. It's got like a big bang firing order on the bike, a little bit different, so it sounds good. But the uh, the overrev of the Kawasaki is quite aggressive, which I quite like as well. But Yeah, it sounds trick, that thing. It does sound a bit trick, doesn't it? I've only listened to it. Obviously, you can't go to any races at the minute, so I've only... That any suits heavy. you, that? You don't. No, you I used don't. to have to think of all the excuses not to come. Yeah, no, I, one. I, would, I would be there, but COVID. I'd be there, lads, but, you know, COVID. Who's, COVID. who's the geezer that flew to Amsterdam on his own, rented a car, drove two hours? It's, talking about that, we've got a good story from when we went to... Surprise Sam, haven't we? I uh, will do that one next. And let's go back to Sam and MotoGP because uh, this one leads in into... the American race. Yeah. Don't uh, back to MotoGP. Um, yeah, obviously, I've, I've done one year, was not very good. So, um, glad to have a go and see how fast you could go on a big bike, really, wouldn't you? Yeah, on a, on, a, on a better chance, on a better bike, I'd like to have a go, but we'll just have to see. I need to uh, if see you, what happens. Like obviously, doing what you've done and you've rode, you rode for a Prillia, would you? Take a would you if you was going to go back to MotoGP, you'd want it to be a decent bike, a competitive bike, or would you? Be yeah, no, I've had chances. No, I want to shit back. Gone, I've had chances no, to go back since, but hey, you don't want to go on a snail again. So. No, 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 no. Obviously not. I, but from what what would be important for me is to go with someone who really wanted me to do it. You know, not just a half-hearted attempt. So yeah. if not, I'm happy to stay in Moto Two and fight to win. I know I could do good on a good bike because people that I've beat have gone and done well. Yeah. So just have to wait and see. Right then. So our story of. Uh, of surprising Sam on his MotoGP bike. That is his MotoGP year, wasn't it? It wasn't going very well and the, the, the team, you're struggling a bit with the team. Mm. I mean, he didn't sound very happy and MotoGP obviously got a lot of testing and the start of the season, the first few races are Qatar, Argentina, a lot of flyaway races. Yeah. So we, uh, me and Ed thought, oh, he's not, uh, he's, not, he's not enjoying it that much. So no, we, this is how it actually went down. I can't remember the race before it, but it was Sunday night. And you'd not had a very good weekend, and and Argentina, I think, Ar- I think maybe Argentina, actually, yeah. And yeah. then Alex ran me and went, "No, he's doing shit. We should, we should go and you know go and support him at the next one or, or at one of the races." I said, "Where is the next one?" He went, "America, Texas." I went, "Right, let's go." And I think the next day we booked it, and we were there. What Thursday? Thursday. It was, the best bit was we was with Marina, and we was with Sam's partner, and we're texting, "Oh, where is he? Where is he?" And we just Ed obviously was sat in the bar having a beer, weren't we? Well, we turned all our phones Shandy. off for the whole flight and tried yeah. to make up some elaborate story while we were on our phones. Our phones broke, didn't we? Yeah, and it was great. And then we we were literally sat in the hotel. He's coming back from the track on a Thursday after all his track walk and stuff. And we, he walked in and turned the opposite way so we could see him. I just shouted him, and he like paused. <laughs> obviously, knew my voice. It was like no way. And then he saw me, and then. I was Ten still seconds. getting a beer. Like, he comes around with Ed yeah. comes around with a big beer. It's mega. That's but, what it's about, though, isn't it? Yeah, it was good. That was a good obviously. weekend. That's and then Marina miss, sorted us out with some proper tickets and a scooter, and we was trackside. Yeah, well, Austin's good because you can get right next yeah, to the we track. Yeah, we were right next. We got yeah. stuck as well, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, they were scooter. waving me on. Gravel trap. He was waving me on. I seen you have a few laps on the inside. Then the next lap, boom, get there. Yeah. Thought, oh. Ed's like, <laughs> can definitely, you can definitely see me from here. Like, a, there's a real tight left hairpin onto the back straight. And Ed's 200 mile an hour back straight. I'm halfway down. <laughs> cool. Ed's halfway down, like, hung over the barrier. Didn't come round again. We're like, oh, great. That's our fault. <laughs> so we trundled back to the back to the pitch. We had a good weekend in Austin, didn't we? Was- yeah, you had a pisser in practice as well because you didn't come round again. And then I remember we was trying to find where you'd crashed, and we just saw the bike. Just saw the bike lent against the thing, and I lent into one of them. Um, Marshall so I said is, is the rider okay and he went yeah yeah he's up he's alright he's alright yeah, <laughs> right. we carried on we had a look at the bike and thought oof that don't look great Ed does it no it was that's good. good good memories that but one. that's what it's about enjoying good times together so hopefully we, we had your manager as well up. didn't we Hodgie I don't think he was your manager at the time but he was my manager at the time oh was he yeah we got him drunk didn't we yeah he did he had did to do his, the TV the next day <laughs> <laughs> he did his famous Hodgie grid walk and he was he was hanging he was struggling I've had a couple of nice Motocross trips as well. Went to the uh, went first one was in Erne for the yeah, nations. That was a good. One. And um, then, and then the next time we went to Latvia. Now you come to Erne motocross. Just the GP. 2013. Just the GP. Just you the and GP, Freddie yeah. flew in. Yeah, and you was already there with me, weren't mm-hmm. you? It was great that. That was good actually. I remember because you surprised me there. That was a scary down. I can't remember, like a downhill sort of jump that got so rutty. Can you remember? Yeah, off the, the top. That's oh, a really that sketchy jump. <laughs> well, the, what the pilot honestly Sam it was looked ridiculous like, is that where Anthony crashed yeah Anthony got landed on off that same jump it was horrible 
I remember thinking, what? They, they had the Nations there in 2015, but that race was 13. I remember it because I actually had a good race. Yeah, did you, did you win? No, I was 4.50 then. I didn't do any winning on that. No, you did well though, the race. Because remember, pacing up and third. down above the... You watch it above the, the start gate, can't you get all the time? Yeah, not, it? I got, a, I think, an eighth in the first race and a third in the second race. But it's a really good race. I passed a lot. I come from way back. Old Sheeny had no idea what was going on. As soon as you got mm. into like, after three laps and everyone's covered in mud, he didn't even know nah, which one not, was. No, he had no idea, has he? No. Nah. And then we went to... Latvia. The, that was good as well. Latvia, Macross, Nice. Yeah, good result. Maybe you good luck. Yeah, maybe my races are just done well. The uh, where do we? I've been to Lommel. I could honestly. Did you? I'd you was at Lommel with there. Sam, weren't you? I'd hate to ride around there. Yeah, I'm sure you've been to more than Lommel though. Yeah, I went to Imola as well. Remember that one that long ago? Oh yeah, because you was you live in Italy most of the time, so you was at Imola sometimes. We, me and oh, you, that was all right. I remember you coming there just on the Saturday. That was yeah, good. Not two days. Didn't okay. fancy two days. That, no, yeah, because then we went for dinner. You just had a little one, didn't you? We did Lommel. Flew in and stayed in Eindhoven, then had a night out in the Eindhoven, didn't we? Yeah, we did actually. Yeah, it was a good night. Chicks, chicks, chicks. chicks. There's some chicks there, apparently. Are they? No, it was all chicken dip. Was in Holland. <laughs> they're real tall, so not good for me. <laughs> it goes out the little booster step. Eindhoven is actually apparently a really good night. It was it? a great night, apparently. There was a. I've yeah. never been because I'm always racing, but Ed always used to fly in and go out in Eindhoven with. There's a bar in there, and they've got big lampshades with dice in them and if you roll a number six you just smash the light shade and if you roll a number six they give you a free roll to Red Bull really? Mm. we don't drink Red Bull no no we do. Oh, I did that I, asked, I, I, I won it I asked going. for a vodka monster <laughs> did you actually? yeah <laughs> 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 nice. um, what are your boys' thoughts on the Isle of Man TT and road races and would you ever give it a go? Um, personally I wouldn't give it a go because I have enough trouble trying to stay on the bike on the short circuit. Fucking hell, that'd be bad. And to crash, yeah. yeah. I'd be one of them if it was announced that I was doing a road race, it, well, everyone would go, ooh. I'd, I'd, <laughs> oh, I'd, not him. I'd love to, not him. I'd love to jump on the back of McGuinness, though, at full speed. But I wouldn't love it. I'd be scared, wouldn't you, on the back? Oh, just, fuck, mate. Just to jump on the back of McGuinness and head down the hill, flat out, I just think, whoa, it'd be a proper buzz. No, I respect it, and it's great. And I've. It's great to watch. on the Alaman a bit, and yeah, oh, I've seen yeah. it. It's, it's great, but yeah, I wouldn't do it. Have, no. you, actually, have you been there and watched the race? Yeah. I've never watched it's it. It's even scarier when you stood there. Honestly, it's unreal. It's fast, yeah. How fast it looks. I flew in for it one day and literally half an hour after I landed, it got cancelled because of the rain and I was only there for one day, so I never saw it. Oh, but even crazy. just just looking at the track and the road, it's just like going flat out through the village. Mm. Yeah, like I, I when I used to live there, I used to drive it a lot, or at least some parts of it on the in my car, obviously. And, and you think, and then it's just closed down for the race, so it's just it's quite surreal, really. I, it's, I, it's impressive, but... Yeah, very impressive. I wouldn't be able to do it. I wouldn't, I'd scared. be annoyed. Well, not long annoyed. I wouldn't want hard to, to know where you're going. Yeah, and you think, oh, the lads just go there and tilt around. No chance. They're absolutely flat out. On they? the loud pedal, yeah. It's impressive, really. It's cool. um, who's the BSB geezer? Hickey. Bro- no, is it Brooks? The one that's just done it. Yeah. yeah. He still went quick on his Brooks first go. It. Brooks, he did, he did it. it. He, he did, did it. He did it in a couple of years. He's always wanted to do it. And he was still quick on the first go. Yeah. Yeah, you must have a massive advantage when you've done it a few times. It's, well, like, it's a long, it's real long line. It's hard to see where you're going. That's what I, mean. I struggle to remember when we've got 14 corners. So mm. if they've got 37 miles to remember, all the bumps and little tricks and secrets. It's, it's, it's mad, isn't it? Yeah, it is mad. I, I don't like the fact of, well, I met Hutchie through you boys and I just see him hobbling around. I think, fuck it now, no way. He's yeah. unbelievable though, isn't he, to yeah. come back. Yeah, to do what he's done. But it is, yeah, it's difficult. It's, it's mad. It's, it's like a different sport. It is, it's mental. If you make a mistake, you're in a, not in a good way. No, you're lucky if you're alive, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, lucky, yeah. But yeah. it's still, yeah. It's worth going to watch anyway, isn't it? Well, is it, did it, it didn't run last year, did it? No, and it's cancelled well, this yeah, year. So oh, is it? It cancelled yeah. this year again, yeah. Oh, shit. The old vid, but hopefully next year we're back going. The Rona. Um, did John, is John McGuinness still doing it then? I guess, well, I don't know. He moved to Kawasaki, I think, for last year's TT, I believe, but then he hasn't, hasn't been able to race, so I don't know if he's going to come back next year, but he's still... How old is he now? I don't know. Not sure. Yeah, late late thought it's probably John. Um, I'm guessing this is referring to work, but do you both miss the Whitwell quarry? Do you know that? Yeah, I can't remember exactly where that is, but yeah, it'd be one of the ones I used to go to with Dad and pull the, pulling the cable quarry. through. He said a lot of work had us, told you. Yeah, we were grafters, mate, we was. How old was you when you... Tell, tell us what you actually Six, used to 16, do then, because we've, we've talked to about it. 20, like, when did we start? Like 2010, 2011, probably. When we come over... 2011 we Remember when we was living in that house in Derby with Freddie as well? Yeah. You're still, you're still working when you won the British Super Bowl, weren't you? Yeah, so 2010, You yeah. used to work on a Thursday and take the van and caravan after work. We used to get in some right wobbles. You know, you see people 
in the motorway on the motorway that can't drive with a van and caravan. That was that us. was us. And it was used to. I don't know how it rolled. One, one time I had it. I was, it's got going a bit quick, and the steering wheel was vibrating. It was moving that much. I said, "Bro, we're, we're gone. We're gone. <laughs> we're gone." Well, and it's like pulling us back. <laughs> we managed to get away with it. But. but yeah, the old man is an electrician, but they like industrial electricians, so they do like big work on big quarries and, and some factories and stuff like that. So really all we used to do, if you're honest, is pull the cables yeah. in. He used to do the tough, like the technical bit. He used to just do the labour in or whatever. But Just dragging them through all and shit and that. Yeah, my, me, my dad and Uncle Maz, wasn't it? Uncle Maz, yeah. with them, yeah, good. It was good fun. We but used to probably just annoy Uncle Maz constantly, really. We I met, I met Maz at your wedding. Yeah, you will have done, yeah. yeah. We just didn't want to be there, just getting grumpy while other people are testing and riding or in the winter. We never used to be one of the, a lot of people in ours get to Spain in the winter so you can ride and yeah. we used to be pulling cables in down the quarry getting Yeah, we never used to test though, we used to race. We then them four or five years. If I look now compared to the pe even people I'm racing against that was a similar age to what I'm racing against now that was similar age to I was then. They're just testing all the time, riding all the time. It's bit yeah, very it's different. Spain, it's very like different, yeah. Mad, isn't it? That's why every time I got on a bike, we just used to go crazy. <laughs> just go mad. <laughs> That's our excuse. If we had more time when we were younger to ride in the winter and probably be a bit more patient, it might help. But I've noticed even now, you're still, whenever there's like a superbike test, it's Alex Lowe's has done the most laps without a shadow of a doubt. Like if everyone's done 90, you've done 120. That's a privilege, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Looking to do what we do. It's great to, we still love it and it's nice to... Well, the difference That's is right. as well for a motocross to road race, we practice every day or we have the opportunity to practice every day. Yeah. Whereas in road race, there's no practice. And if you get a test, that's your only practice. Yeah, like I've got the five weeks on the break now and I won't ride. No. And then you turn up to a race at, say, I don't know, wherever your next race is and it's first practice in Bosch. But, but, but do you know motocross? Do you know if they put some, I've always thought this, do you think if they put some rules in where once you're in the MXGPs or when you're at a certain level, you wasn't allowed to practice. And if you did practice, there was the odd day they put on. Mm. The same people would still win. Yeah, they would, yeah. And be less injuries, be easier for everyone. You just have well, a, I don't know if the same people, ample. because you obviously get some that work harder than others in the sport. But it wouldn't be a bad thing. No, it wouldn't be a bad thing, but Imagine it's hard the arm to pump so hard to play. Imagine the arm pump. Yeah, you get arm pump so bad. The problem is with ours, if you, because I think the same like when you guys go to a race and you're like, well, third lap out, I could smash my best lap. And I just think, fucking hell, you haven't rode for six weeks. So the tracks or, don't change. <laughs> no, I know. That's what I'm saying. When in, uh, in ours, I cannot ride for, say, three months, jump back on a bike, say if you've had an injury or you sit on the winter break. Yeah. If the track's flat, you can feel fast straight away and you can go pretty fast. Then the problem is when you go to a world championship track or a British championship, say a rough track, yeah. that's when you really feel not on like... Um, yeah, all of a sudden you go, fuck me, I'm struggling here today. Like yeah, the track, not I'm not used enough, to this, not. yeah. But if everyone was in the same boat, surely it'd be... Yeah, but the tracks get too rough to, I think, risk You'd it. There'd be injuries, so many crashes. More injuries. Okay. So that should be the opposite. That should be more crashes. Yeah, so I think like riding the bike in, it's just being ready for the how rough the conditions get. Right. And because you're obviously in yours, like you said, the tracks stay the same. In ours, on a smooth track, you feel pretty fast straight away. You can go as fast say someone's come back from injury and you're on a flat track, you go, fucking hell, he's fast. And then yeah. you go to a rough track. If someone hadn't practiced, that's when you see the difference. Right, okay. You know, you say you're here for five weeks and you can't ride. Like, what's the crack? You can't just go Donington? No. Well, y you could go on a standard bike, I guess. So that's that you can't, you'd have to ride a standard there's a, there's bike. There's a test ban, like Moto2, we're, we're limited on days. Right. We have seven days from the end of the season before till the end of this year. So in the winter and over the season, we've got seven Only days. Only seven days? Yeah. Then I think the official days don't count. So seven days plus official tests. So there's not many though. And if you if you're on you can choose your seven days, right? Yeah. Okay, and if an official test is rained out. Official you, yeah, but official tests don't count anyway. Do you know like the, the But they won't put another one off if it rains out. No. It's just up right. to you. Yeah, they're doing hours. If you, if you miss a test because it's raining, you don't have to ride and then but obviously you've still got all that still got to rent the track and all the effort to get there. For so the you're, guys, you're so. the same, you can't just turn up to Donington on your race bike, you'd have the to... The problem is to go to Donington, it's probably 20 grand a day, more maybe, to rent the track with the team to get everything here. It's a big big job, in it? Yeah, but you could take test. your race bike if you wanted, but it would never happen and ride a practice day up at Donington. No, not your race bike, you can ride a stock bike. <laughs> yeah, the race bike also might be too loud, there's a lot of regulations, ah. it'd be difficult, yeah. I've got a standard R1. I you ride could ride it, it. short shifting. It'd be nice and quiet then. It'd be under yeah. 100 I do decibel. actually short shift on a road bike. <laughs> <laughs> because when I was on, la the, I'd done a day with Kawasaki and with Leon Haslam and then I was coming out the corners and then I talked to him about the gears and then he's like, he's like, he's like, I'm flat out in first. Cause, and I was just like, well, I'm in fucking third flat at that point. <laughs> <laughs> but then he's like, no. And then I just said, yeah, third gear. 
But I'm so Rebel. when I went in first, it's so aggressive. You rev him way longer than you think. When he told me I was in first, I was like, You're fucking nuts, first. Yeah, because you, yeah, you really rev. <laughs> what, they rev to like 14. Yeah, hold, on, hold on to the gear. Yeah, like and it, but I, it was a thousand cc, the one that Kawasaki bought out probably two years ago, the brand new bike, and we was both on one. And I just, I was too scared to hold it at that. Oh, like to go to that point. aggressive that. so I'd just quick shift yeah. and, but then I'd be flat out and I'd be like bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd just be coming down like, this is not and Leon much. would be cut, Leon would just go Whoa, and I'm like I'm flat out mate how are you going so fast <laughs> down there but it'd be like me quick shifting on my motocross bike like bleh, 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 yeah. up the straight <laughs> yeah, that's and then I'd like. come in the same it's weird because even though I would know in motocross when you do something else like I'd come in this, the corner and Leon's like no you're in so like, what are you coming into that turn? I said second or third, and he's like, "No, you're nuts." He says that's just running on so far. Yeah, you need to be first. Yeah, you need to be back brake. down to first to get the engine brake to get it to turn. Which in Marrakech is similar. Like if you come into a corner in fourth, the front wheel is going to push over the berm and you're going to go down. But if yeah. you're coming in second or third, it helps oh. grip. But when I jumped on a road race, it just all went out the window. What, how, what was the hardest thing or the most different thing? Uh, that bit, a little bit, how fast and aggressive the bike was. And then just having a bit of trust in the tyres. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the thing I think you struggle with, pulling the front brake. Yeah, how hard do you pull the front brake? Like, I brake so much. You're going twice as fast and brake way later when I, I'm going slower and I haven't got the confidence in the tyres. And I also feel that because I'm going that slow, they're like, you oh. get your tyres hot, so I don't, I'm not going fast enough to get my tyres hot. It makes a big difference. So the, And then when I'm leaning over... I don't know how far I can lean before the tyres. I just have no, ex- <laughs> no experience. Do you lean over or not? Yeah, normal. I've seen you get your knee down without leaning over. <laughs> so have I. We've got a pitch, haven't <laughs> we? Pitch, haven't we? <laughs> the bike yep. is bolt upright. Ron Aston <laughs> knee on told me, he says, this is how you do it. You pivot the old foot on the peg, lean your knee off, and then you get on the floor. And then I've come around, what's that corner called? Melbourne Loop. Yeah, I've come around the loop and I've, I've got my knee on the floor, but the bike's up, right? I'm hanging <laughs> off it that much. I reckon if you had a lean angle thing, it'd be about 10% lean. Yeah, it'd be about four degrees. <laughs> you could probably even put it up in the, you could probably even put it up on screen, but it's yeah, fucking painful find picture. The, picture. <laughs> the levers of everything about it is awful, but I was chuffed to nuts at the time. So I've come in the pit box, we've gone, they've gone pictures at the desk. Pointing, you're just pointing at your slider coming yeah, down the pit lane. Like, <laughs> have a look. Yeah, there's pictures at the desk and I've gone, I oh, fucking knee down around there. And then, no, no, you didn't, you didn't. And I said, I did. And we've gone back to the pictures at the end of the day and I just... <laughs> no, they were, it was down. Knee was, yeah, down. Was, knee was down. Yeah, day one. bike was up, knee was down. Elbow went down. But that's the, I think it's the, it's like anything, isn't it? You can do it, you get good yeah. at it. Unless you're fucking really shit. But on, the, um, on the subject of Leon Aslam... He's an entertaining character to watch on a motocross bike, isn't he? Yeah, Leon's a bit wild. But he, I think he's, he's the wild. same as you on a motocross bike, though. He is first he lap, revs, flat out. I think out. he yeah. revs, and when I've seen him on like any any bike, he revs it to the moon. I think he even revs his super bike yeah, more yeah, than he, he should. He, he likes a rev in it, yeah. But he really revs a motocross bike, like, fucking. And he, he's a little he can do he? it as well. Just aggressive. He can ride a bike all right. And then I remember up there... And he was saying, he's like, let me, watch me do this corner. And I says, yeah, all right, mate. So he's come in and he's done it nice, second gear, whatever, gone around the corner and changed up. And I said, that was nice. And he's like, nah, 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 watch this, watch this. <laughs> he's like, I'll do it fast now. And he's come in flat out. First gear, come out the next ring, clutch, first gear, up. And he's well impressed with himself. He's pulled in, he's going, that was faster. And I said, nah, that's completely wrong. He says, you've just done it perfect before. And he's like, nah. He can have he can have six months off a motocross bike and get back on one and then just go as fast as he can. Just full sand, yeah, full, yeah like flat out, and then he yeah. comes in with a, ma- a little arm pump. He's got. I'm just think, wow. Go on, Lenny. He's good. I chased him around fat cats on a mini bike, stacked it straight behind him, chasing the great. lap time. That was great on that. <laughs> that was his fault. I reckon we should tell him. He pulled you down, didn't he? You trying? No, to I don't remember the lap what time. the lap time was, but Alex and Sam ride these little Ovali bikes and put me on a. The lap time on the dash. The lap time on the dash, and I was like 20. It. Was it 29? He, he fell into it, didn't he? See, that's what happened. Yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's my whole, lot lot whole career is about that. Yeah. Just chasing the time. You can go 28. You can go You chase the time. When we went to VIPMX, Sam had Lip Pro on. <laughs> In between his sessions, he hadn't rode a motocross, rode, rode a motocross bike for two years. In between his sessions, his data download. Just, yeah. I just thought, what, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you've never been around it before. Lap time. There could be 10 seconds. Lap time's everything. The start I used to get real sad when the track got, like, slower, you know, like, rougher. And then I couldn't beat my time, so. Lap times is, is everything. A lot's been decided on lap times, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah everything. everything. On the flat track, here it has. Yeah. I remember I used to beat Tommy on it, and then one day he went a bit faster, and that was it. No, I beat who is the king on the flat track, really? It's different because we haven't rode flat tracks. I beat him once. We, we, should, do, we should do a summer. We, we should do a, like now we've got a bit of a break of summer off. You flat don't track you're not summer off. over, you lunatic. I'm allowed over, mate. Yeah, well, we need, to, we need Alex to get on the phone to. 
Cowie and get some mini bikes because we've got some mini bikes, but you don't think you can ride them. You can, Sam, because you're. No, I can. You're open to any brand. Mm. Yeah. Cowie send one. We'll have a. Cowie make a one forty though. That's the they problem. won't send you. Ah, uh, you see. Yeah, I could do with that advantage. Get lost. You're light as anything. I'm mm. the one that needs the advantage. You're yeah, right. to be fair, you're yeah. actually tough man. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Large. Ah, uh, that's the one. <laughs> Nasty you are. Um, what else we got? Another Leon Haslam question, actually. It was somewhat along the lines of, what's a night out with Leon Haslam like? Oh, here it is. O W Jenner. What's a night out with Leon Haslam? I think that's one of Leon's riders. So one of his riders. Yeah. A, li- a night out with Leon Haslam is like... Um, he likes the cheese night out, doesn't he? Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's, it. like, it's like the, uh, the motocross, just flat out, first lap. It, at, you, you can talk, though. You, you're soldier on until yeah, last one standing. Oh, I'm last one standing, first one up. Yeah. Like in my stag yeah. doing Miami, him Our and Leon. Stag doing Miami, him, Leon and, and Sam. Sam last Incredible. man standing every night, first one up. Same in day. your stag do in Cancun. Sam, yeah. Tommy's, Tommy's stag do was a week long. Sam yeah, could only come long, for four. I don't want to talk about this and subject. Please. Alex couldn't come because he was met. licking out Leon, yeah. Le- yeah. Lewis Hamilton. Alex had the opportunity to meet Lewis Hamilton and so he sacked the stag do off. No, that's not him. true though, is it? I had to go yeah. do that for Yamaha. He, he didn't have to go. What? <laughs> 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 anyway, Sam come for four nights, destroyed everyone, stayed up the longest, and then just left and was completed it. Yeah, yeah sorted it out. That's when like, he left, we was all like, Fuck "That's the only reason I'm getting one married one. next year, so we can go out have another steak." <laughs> Where are we having it? Mm. Well, yeah, we need to decide, but we need need to get everything like open year. more, everything open more, so we can go big. Are you allowed to come on your own steak do though? Oh, well, that's Marina. Lads. I'll organise it if I can. I'm allowed to come on. I don't know. If you want to just look straight down the barrel of the lens and ask her now, we'll send her the clip. <laughs> she knows. She knows that I'm getting. Look, I look down the camera. Look, by all the cameras. She I'm knows going. that's why I'm having it. I'm going. <laughs> and, I'm having it. and I'm going large. <laughs> Tell Soph as well. Just, just make sure no, Tom's she like, knows. Okay, good. Well, so Leon Aslam on a night out's great. Sam's also great. Alex, you're not bad, are you? Steady on it. No, Alex is shit. He's shit, really, yeah. Why is he? Thanks, well, Rock City back in the day, boring and here shit here. Let's go home. He's better, now, he's, no, he's better now than he was when he was younger. Really? Yeah, he's all right now, but still, he just can't keep up. Miami he? was good. I, like, I get a lot of... I don't get as much credit off you lot. I'm always there. You're, um... No. Yeah, one time. Uh, I missed one event. Yeah. I think Miami, you didn't come out a couple of nights on your own. I never, never missed a night. I never missed a night. The ever. bloke who works with, with you, Dave Rocky Ryan, who's obviously the ex-boxer. I'll tell you what, he's not missed a night. He no, he, he missed did. a night. He, he nearly missed did. a night. Yeah, he missed a night because he gave himself yeah, a lesson in the day. Yeah, he my clothes, didn't he? Yeah, he nicked your clothes. <laughs> he nicked Thomas' clothes out of the wardrobe. That was the best he's looked. It, it was, actually, yeah. He turned up to the, one of the nights out just dressed in all Tommy's clothes and just... <laughs> After he'd, he'd, he'd literally nearly died, and then he just yeah. The best bit was when we was having a pizza, and he he got a little or like this, <laughs> 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 like this. And he's having his pizza, and he's like, a oh, nice one, <laughs> bang, straight in, top pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? Oh, when I get hungry later, I'll pull that out. <laughs> yeah, save that for later. Yeah, he did. <laughs> that was great. That was. That's yeah. when Nick was fighting with our mate because yeah, Nick had a fight with someone. Didn't he? <laughs> Nick had a fight with you. <laughs> Tommy was we yeah, I was a bit loose. That you night. were bullying, weren't you? I've um I've got a couple of questions now for you, Tommy, because I did a separate story. A lot of them are saying, "Bring Stan back." Um, I, well, for I would Stan. like to come. I listened to Stan podcast. I thought he was done mega. Um, so Stan is um, Billy's mechanic. Did, uh, did you listen to it or not? Yeah, and you didn't, did you? Did he I'm come? Stan. He came just to chat, didn't he? Who Stan? Stan? Just, just a chat. Biggest Truly fan. Yours, your biggest fan. This is Stan. Stan Stan's Stan the man. But anyway, yeah, we we a bit of a mishmash. We did replace Stan, but now Tommy's back. Um, there's one question that says how are you Tommy you look are you looking tired or not no I'm feeling I said before earlier in this this show I'm feeling great in a minute I'm really back on I'll top I'll tell you what though to be fair to I've start. slowed my pro, I've slowed things down I've not done as many training scores so really focused on myself skint then yeah I'm skint at when the minute Bill, Billy you watch Billy ride the bike you just feel sorry for his mechanic don't you yeah how yeah. hard he rides oh aggressive Horrible. even you just pull out air and you'll be Nice, some of the coffee in here, and you just get the bike out and smash it into mm. someone. <laughs> That's what I blows my think, mind. But then I think when I was his age as well, I used to get out straight away and go yeah. for it. But if he was a road racer, he'd go out every lap. Every lap. Uh, yeah. Do you know I I'd don't like, think he'd be a road see, racer. I'd love to see Billy on a super bike. He would do it. I was, he's talented on yeah, any I'd bike. I'd like to see him on that as well. He'd be, he'd be we should do that. I'd I tell was, you what, I was surprised watching the old top rack in mind does them endos. We'll just get Billy trained up. He'll just come down. No, he would do it straight away. Top gear, wouldn't he? He's that good, he would just do it on, a, would. on a road bike straight away. He would, yeah. I yeah. want to see Billy Does Husqvarna make a road bike? No. KTM do, same thing. RC8 thing? 
Oh, he needs to be on the MotoGP bike, doesn't he? Oh, get him on a MotoGP <laughs> bike. Because he'd just be, be, a, he'd just be so good at to watch carbon what, what bike is the KTM the best super bike? They used to do an RC8 at a road yeah. bike around Cadwell once. It was quite good, but it was quite a long time ago. I don't think they do it anymore, do they, Sam? I'm not sure. Well, if he rode, even to do one of them scores, if they don't do one, it means he can ride anything. KTM do like a uh, super, juke, so, super Juke thing, or a straight yeah, under bus. Yeah, I remember the old be on that. Yeah. Yeah. Billy would have that on, the, on one wheel. No, but I think it be good to see him go around a track. Oh, well, anyone that's got one that's, that wants a day out and wants to meet Billy Bolt will... Uh, yeah, yeah. No. if you've still got an RC8, that'd be, good. That'd be, be so great. much fun. Yeah, that'd be an amazing video to watch. Because Billy... I think he'd smoke me on a road bike. You imagine that big you? 100%. He'd smoke you on anything. Well, Billy, he'd, he'd, go, really he'd, he'd, he'd push road. hard, wouldn't he? He'd just go for it. Billy would definitely be faster than you. I think he'd bike. go down. I, I'd yeah. go... <laughs> He's actually racing right now. He's, he's, he's one of the rounds of the West Series, and I don't know. I'm just trying to get an update off, off Roxy, but nothing yet. He's probably missing in a forest for a few hours. Yeah, he'd be at the bottom of the bog, pole when pulling his bike up, up to now. vertical hill, loving it. That's what he'd be doing. Yeah, and he'd be loving every minute. Oh, of yeah, it. loving it. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, he's like you two. He fucking loves it. <laughs> You've got to love it. But I would like to do a podcast with Stan when he comes back. Oh, I've already messaged him, and he said, yeah. Mm, Stan's good, I like him. He's coming back. Sam? Um, That's not a bug. You don't like many people, Tom. No. No, I'm a bit more friendly nowadays. Yeah. It went hard. I remember back in the day, I used to think, you don't, I used to think, yeah, he was winning, was. he thought it was a dog's bollocks, didn't he? So did everyone else. Games. Yeah. But actually, do you know what, I've, I even remember my, my missus, she's like, oh, I'm not sure about Tommy. She used to, she, Jen used to say to me. She wanted a bit. Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's because I fucking left her on red for all her DMs before she got with you. Yeah. <laughs> so that was what it was. But she used to say to me, oh, is Tommy, uh, is Tommy going? Oh, I'm not <laughs> yeah, sure. he did actually. Yeah. I'm not coming, it's Tommy's going. Yeah, now she loves you. She, oh, she thinks you're great, but she just took a little bit to mm. understand. Took a bit of warming up. He yeah, does, so some other friends said that. I they said to, I intimidate them. Yeah. I have to, so many times I've so, had to stick up for you. And then when they get to know you, like, mm. it's actually sound. Even some talk. of your mechanics said that. I've, yeah. never, I've never heard anyone say, when you get to know me, sound. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they do. No, not many people do. Now, they do actually to be we've fair. said this in these podcasts and my vlogs same people had the same opinion yeah. maybe a bit was a bit of a fucking you're a bit cold to start with and then once you scratch mm. past it it's probably because you used to call Cosa Marshall for four years <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> got, she's still got that passion though still going isn't it yeah Cos used to be a travelling Marshall um, what about your 96 CR250 yeah the, the, watch that that's a, my latest YouTube out I'm a YouTube sensation now boys yeah um, yeah I get like, like 15,000 views sometimes a YouTube Again. sensation. Well, We've revived his career. Like, like Bieber. He don't do YouTube, does he? So he started, wasn't it? Don't know. Fuck knows. Yeah. So but we've done a 96 that. now, and it's so, so trick. So if you haven't watched it, watch it on the YouTube, and you'll see what well, done that bike. I'm going to ride it. Probably 90, 96, that took a while to get done then. No, it's a, it's restored. Oh, you've just done it. I was going to say, because that's a yeah, while ago, isn't it? Yeah, fucking a while. I'd only been seven at that time, but it's it looks better than any bike I've ever seen. Yeah, I've seen it. It's a little trick. It, that's it's really, bike. really nice. So yeah. I'm going to ride that in on Thursday, I think. Sublime. It's Sunday today, so four days' time. Where are you probably be out might, up there. I'll get kicks out. Do you, can, you can do all the jumps on it? Yeah, I said to Wob, would I do all the jumps? He said, no problem. It's pretty. It's, it's uh, like I think the only move. one that you'd struggle with is the big one if the roller's nah. before it uh, wet. Nah. No, nah, we're not going to ride it's it gonna be, It's going to be dry. There. It's only going to rain tomorrow, so the track will be primed by Thursday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, then you'll be all right. I might even come up. We We're also going to... Steal Doc Wob for a, an podcast. hour or two after, aren't we? For a podcast, asking yeah, a few so questions. We should so. have a couple of these out, another vlog out. We're ramping it back up again, I suppose. Mm. And Billy's back next week as well. Is he? Look who's back. Yeah. That's quite good. We're doing another. Well, we could have free podcasts. It's a privilege to be on here, to be fair. Here you, you are. Be. We've been trying to get you on for a bit. Well, I've, he ain't been here, has he? No. Nah. We still, we still. Some of us still have to work. Keep working my face on this. <laughs> we're still believing. Some trying to do world champs. Yeah, I'm so still. We, I've, I've I've yeah, no, you, you can't. Really people talk up saying I'm a bit old. Yeah, that's bad because I keep still going for it. She keeps whacking me on the face now. It scares me. You have a lot of problems with the mics, don't you? Yeah, this one's better. Do you prefer the new table? Yeah, I like the table, I like the mic. I Ta like the I like the better. interviews back in the day on so on the, that American YouTube. Video. No, that's Some of the interviews good. are amazing, aren't they? No, they're bad to watch. They're great. They're bad bad people. Especially when the American accent just creeps in. Yeah, I had a good American accent back then. Yeah, it was nice. Well, the problem is when you go out there and you start talking, you say like tomato, and then they ask you, what did you say? And you say tomato again, and then you end up saying tomato. <laughs> and then you say like another thing, oh, where's like the bin? And so then you go, oh, fuck it, where's the trash? 
And then you end up just going, I'm American now. You're trash, yeah. talk, you're trash Sam talking that. then. Sam does that in Pigeon, yeah, Eng- Sam Pigeon does English. Pigeon English. Yeah, yeah you're for sure. You're, some of your interviews are race. Him and Carl, when they I get speak, together. Yeah. I speak European, just, mate. You do. European English. How was your race? For sure, I push hard. Maximum. And, uh, I push the maximum. <laughs> I push the maximum. <laughs> and I, I unfortunately went over the limit and uh, we crash. Not so every time. For sure, next week we push again. And, uh, maximum. and then he goes, anyway. Uh, anyway. Uh, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, it. Have you done? There's um back to back to the Moto GP talk. There's someone on there asking for some um, tips and pointers trailing the front brake into corners. I don't know. I, I get yeah, going to say probably not best. Get right off it. Do you? Um, that's something I'm not very good at. Yeah, trailing the brake. Well, I trail it in obviously, but when I finally get off it, I just let go of it. <laughs> Need to release it a bit smoother. Um, it's letting go of it when it. Fold. No, I'm, don't, I'm well down by that point. <laughs> <laughs> it can be if it's right in the corner. Because yeah. when you let go of the front brake, the suspension obviously moves a lot, so it can change the grip of the front. Mm. But yeah, trail braking is tough because obviously you're going into the corner, so you're going onto the smaller part of the front tire, and you still got the brake on. So you, in effect, to find that limit between your front brake and the tire moving is quite hard. So it's something you need to build the up. The best to. is in the straight line braking is not to be real straight. You know, to be tipping in already a little bit because then when you load the front, you have more contact. You know, squash the tyre, you have more contact. So then you can keep it at that point for longer. But yeah, obviously, if then you squash you st- it straight and then if turn you're just it, like straight line, move. it's obviously good, but you've got less tyre on the track. So if you're tipping a little bit, also the force is more pushing down into the track. But in terms Alex of- don't do that very well, but <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're going to do. Yeah, Sam's good at that. But in yeah, terms yeah, of, no, if, if we're asking, right, going, if someone yeah. wants some tips on genuine, r- on the f- trail in the front brake, the best advice I could give is make sure the straight line braking, you, you're hitting the brakes hard that first part while your bike's upright. And then you get your speed off to a, a lot, get a lot of your speed off before you start leaning. And then it's easier to understand. The you last can thing, feather it a bit You more. can feather the front a bit more and you can build up your confidence. The last thing you want to be doing is pulling the brake lever harder as you get closer to the corner, which is a common mistake with guys. Because you haven't slowed down enough. You, haven't slowed yeah, down like enough. You, you should be, the maximum pressure should be in the first part of braking and then tailing off. Yeah, because you boys can see your bar yeah. and PSI how much you pull, can't so, you? So for some advice, and also depends if you do that. It's a lot easier to trail brake with the front if you're using the rear brake because obviously it takes a lot of stress off the front as well. That's another thing. You'd thumb, thumb rear brake. Alex is on the thumb. I'm on the lever, like a scooter rear brake. And that's the last few years has been a big step for me. Using and on lot. your foot as well, if you want it. Yeah, in the left corners, I use the foot. And in the right corners, I use the lever. Because for us, obviously, when you're hanging off the bike, it's hard to, yeah, to put, put your foot. position. Yeah. God, it's mad, isn't it? All the stuff you go through for it. Uh, well, you're like trying it. to improve, don't you? So, oh. so on your left-hand side, you've got clutch. Yeah, my clutch. I've got like a special clutch lever that when you release the... The clutch it goes up a bit and moves out the way. It's like, a, but my starts are terrible, and I've been yeah, blaming it on that. Fucking so. awful, awful, <laughs> mate. awful. Fucking painful. I was going to mess you the other week and say, should we do some up here because yeah. it yeah. can't be that fucking hard. Honestly, no. well, when was your last hole shot? Like, piss is I start. We start in a line, mate, and I go into the corner like top three. Yeah. You start at the front and you go into the corner like Tenth. twelve. Yeah, that's no, that is actually twelve's a decent start. Hundred percent true. Yeah, I have to qualify. On, I have to qualify be? on the front road to be in the top eight. That's why he qualifies so well. He can't get off the start. That's has to. Yeah, but yeah. what do you do wrong then? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Everything. So well, I'm getting there, old. Talk Firstly, me through it. I can't so see the lights. On the road bike. You're on the road bike. You you got two fingers on the clutch or all four? Two. All right, and then what? He can't put both feet on the floor because he's too short. Sure. Yeah, I can't, that don't help me. I can't touch the floor very well with one foot. Never mind two. Yeah, you can't use blocks like us or someone to crash. He into needs blocks. Yeah. You <laughs> maybe, do. You need blocks. Maybe, maybe you can blocks. ask if you can have some blocks. I asked if one of my mechanics yeah, could have mud guard at the back, but they can't. <laughs> can't do that either. No, not allowed because it's been in the way. Yeah, so ours now. I use two blocks. That's how my starting. But you can't use blocks. So right, you're one foot up. Yeah, my clutch is quite high still. This is what yeah, I'm that's not helping. No, not helping, but I'm. Improved a lot more riding using the rear brake, so that's in a better position because I use it every lap, whereas it starts just once. So yeah. I've been working on. So when it's hard to even now, shaking his head, it's fucking painful. Let's yeah, do he's good at starts. Not last week, you weren't fucking hell. You need yeah, what happened last week? Yeah, I couldn't believe you had a damn low start. I did. I, 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 do you know what's funny? I was going into turn one, and I thought. That's that's what you that, this is what you do every week. Yeah. Do you think you're scared when you go up the start and everyone comes past? I've never go, been oh, scared. No. <laughs> what do you think when they all come past? Oh, fuck, not again. Really? <laughs> yeah. Normally, <laughs> fucking be a long race. If you, now. When yeah, you get I bad reckon, start, I'm, I always it's so tight. And if you look, at even some races this year that have been, I've been 13 in Barcelona. I was 13th on that one, but from lap four to the end, I was fastest on track. But it doesn't matter, does it? That's what I mean. So surely you're better off compromising a little bit of the old clutch position. Yeah. Well, we've, been, we've got I've got a new lever coming in this summer break. Well, let's do some up here in the break on a motocross yeah. bike. What, right, would, I'll set you a challenge. That I reckon I can beat you after the start. We'll do, if we do ten no, starts, no, one of them I'll beat you. Well, no way. Well, you got to run. You got to run. I bet you twenty quid. 
Um, we need a real grippy. We won't, it, Tommy won't bet 20. 10. 10. <laughs> 10 and then. No, I'm generally serious. I want to help you at starts. I mean, I'm not the greatest starter in. You're, yeah, in you want to help me. I'm, I'm, I'm generally probably the worst. I remember the Chad group. Reed actually <laughs> writing on Twitter. He'd done a tweet like. He he said it about everyone in general, like why are road racers so bad at pulling away off the start? Yeah, but the, the bikes are a lot the different. It's not like it's not like the problem is because we've got a lot of power. You don't use the clutch, so the clutch, the setup of the clutch, you don't use the clutch while you're riding. So the setup, the setup of the clutch is quite basic, really, because so when when you're releasing, the, it's quite it can be quite aggressive. The clutch, it's I, not really, it's, it's I, not I can't like use it. that excuse because mine's the same clutch for everybody on the grid. Ah. But for them, Superbike can be a bit different. I'm Are you electronically it. assisted well, your clutch off a start? Like, it's a bit grabby. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. If there's, if they're it's hard to start slow. Everybody has a different setup <laughs> because of the Not engine brake. The engine brake on the engine brake is so important. I have an electronic engine brake, and if it if it activates the clutch, you can have some inconsistency. Yeah. So you having a the clutch there, that's not going to help matters. It's a bit lower now. It's not an excuse, that, Tommy. It's not an excuse to be that bad. Well, no, I got Holly last year in Aragon. Whole shot from pay one off from pole. Yeah. I don't know. Back, I went honestly, on, normal, on turn one, normal. and I honestly thought the race had been red flag. <laughs> oh, there must have been a pollen with the lights. And I, just, I just got my head down, waiting for the red flag, but it never came. Yeah, yeah. That fuck. I think we can improve that this summer break. Yeah, make. I've, I've sacrificed a couple of races this year because of that. Mm. It is hard work on and start. Race are you, are you this year. That on your one? Yeah, definitely. Portugal was. Are you when you let the clutch out? Mm. Is your bike cutting the power? Yeah. Yeah, we have less power for the start because more. So power. you can hold it pinned. No, I don't. Not not pinned. I hold it like it controls the RPM, and then you you can modulate the power with your, with your wrist and the bite point of the clutch. So not too different to normal. Just that the revs are a little bit lower, so you're not you can't slip it into the rev. Like and that's on just on world superbikes. Yeah, you can do quite a different. You can. There's a lot of things you can do. Because Matt and GP are literally. Yeah, they've got the starter device now. Yeah, so I'm, yeah. I'm flat They're out. Full yeah. full flat knacker. Matt and GP. Yeah. And dock the clutch. Yeah. The um, we'll, we'll practice. We'll do some practice this summer. So you've not no rev limit on yours. No, there's like a little thing, but no, it's just bogger. Do you have a start device on the front? Pulls the front down. No, nothing. Not allowed. You're no. not allowed that. Not well, allowed. If we, do, if we improve them in this summer break, do lots of starts. Then after the summer, we can unleash the beast. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Um, that was a good plug. I'm sure it will help on the macro bike. It's got to translate somewhat. Yeah, Matter GP basic reaction now. as well. You need. To, that's all I think. A lot of the guys on. It's a reaction you don't want to jump the start and ask because it's just a light like you mm. with the gate. With I the don't gate, like the light. if you yeah, if you jump the start, well, you hit the gate, don't you? Well, mm. If we jump the start, it's right. My minute, problem yeah. is it's, it goes red and then they go out, so there's no amber or green. So no. It's not like you know, like when you're in your car, it's easy in it because you oh, get so amber. You get then confused. it's coming. You're waiting <laughs> yeah, for the green. Yeah, might be asking time. if they can put your traffic light system. I might ask them. Actually. It's more fair, isn't it? Yeah, because then you get to get ready a bit. You more. Get ready and then go. You have the 15 second board, then five, then. It the is a bit odd, really. So what? What's the ti- does that come up with a timer? Or you're no, just right, looking just up? Red, 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 between green. four and no, six seconds. You can tell he's never watched the race, can you? No. <laughs> just as soon as the lights. So when do you go. know when to look at the Like light. when I got a good start on that warm-up lamp, you watched. That, there was no lights then. They just no, waved a flag. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> that was the best. That was good. Was, was you did get a cracker of a start then? So now, so when you look up at the thing, someone walks off with a green flag. Ah, and then you just put it in gear. Look. Yeah. And so red light comes on. It's between oh, like four red to light's six off, and then the red on. light comes on. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I get it now. Because <laughs> if it's just red light on the whole time, and then you just I went off, you'd be a bit. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. nah. We've never watched Formula One when they do lights out and away. No, I've go. never watched Formula One. Formula One's different. They build up. One, yeah, one, two, then, three, four, five. Yeah, ours just comes on and goes off. Mm. All right. Well, yeah, they're coming on. I get it now. It's coming home. You said. Oh, what? what's coming, coming on? Home. I wonder if it is. Um, oh, while while coming, you're on coming back to my yeah. on electronic talk, you. Can mo- can well can you do in Moto Two? Is it there's electronics on the bike, right? A little bit now, yeah. And in World Superbike, there's loads. Oh, loads yeah. of it. You can change what it does in every corner with full throttle. Give you ten percent if you want. Yeah, you can change each corner f- and each gear. Um, How it reacts. Yeah, well, it's not each corner now. There's like sections of the track that made it a little bit simpler a few years ago. But yeah, you can change how much power you want in each gear and full power. Uh, yeah, always. As much as possible, but then they're also on the corner entry, you can have the bike sort of the throttle opening a little bit to stop the bike from locking into the corner. So that that's sort of a little bit more critical than the traction control and the exit. So yeah. in in Moto Two now, from when they changed the Triumph engine a couple of years ago, we have an engine brake system which st- stops the bike sliding. Oh, what, it's got it for you. Bit, it got it for me. He loves it. Sliding. And then we have yeah, like a, t- a torque management. Mm. So it's not a traction control, but a torque management. So what they've done is you have. Um, 
20 different maps for each one, 20 engine brake and 20 torque. And you, on your handlebar, you can have three different. So you can set three the whole, the, the whole grid have the same 20. Yes, all the riders have the same options, let's so say. So it's like it's we have more than the past, but it's not like open. So you, so you might choose option five, eight, and 10, and someone else yeah, might well three, the, the, one. The, the torque, I just have full power every gear, every session, in the way, everything. And no, for, the engine, for the engine, for the engine break, yeah, we do, because we don't have much power anyway. Do you, honestly? 100%, just full. Everything. They've got no power. Well, and then feed it off your thing, like your hand. Yeah, then, then it's one for one, so it's a lot easier to understand. Yeah, sometimes no when anyway. You, no power, but sometimes when you have less power, then it feels a bit strange in your hand. Yeah, which is what you have. You always sometimes... Yeah, that's what I struggle with sometimes. Fighting Coming them. from BSB, yeah. it was just one-to-one -one throttle, essentially. You're still it? struggling now after fucking no, eight still years. struggling. <laughs> Sad. No, it's just sometimes when you're trying to find the perfect setting, it doesn't really exist, but you're trying to take the power away, and when the bike starts to slide, it's easy to lose the feeling between your hand and the rear tyre. Yeah, I just, don't care about that. Just, just flat out. When I had Super Sport, I electronic right, loved it. Just hold it on into it. What and then let it sort of stuff out. Let it cut out and that, yeah. Yeah, you can't quite. I actually like remember that. watching you done some part down craners and the bike's just going. <laughs> yeah. It sounds naughty. It sounds good. It sounds like you got the pit lane. Just doing run. it for the gram. Oh, yeah. Mm, there was probably no gram then, actually, back in when I was doing No, there was gram back just then. kicking off. No, it wasn't. MySpace. I got the first. I I, my first Instagram MSN. post was uh, the end of 2012. Sam's Instagram is, is entertaining, isn't it? What do you mean? He's just literally whatever he's doing. One go at a photo, bosh yeah, online. No yeah, like, I know I'm not the most beautiful guy, so there's no point trying to edit it up, is there? Really? No, you just, if you're out, you just go done. Like, you done a twelve mile run, no problem. Bosh, I've done a run. Don't think twice about <laughs> putting a post up. No, and then close the phone. Then That'll be do. Done. Bang, job done. done. Yeah, that's fair it. enough. Don't lose no sleep over it. Exactly, dare to dream. <laughs> <laughs> so what's um what's next then for for you boys? You've got you're racing. Next week, I don't know when it is really. Canada Rights is Two MX weeks, Nationals. Then. I think it's 24th. Yeah, it's today. Oh, it's the no, same, it's same weekend. So down next weekend, and next weekend same weekend after. he's in Canada Heights. I've got the next round in Aston. And how many rounds have you got left? Oh, done four. So we must have eight, eight or nine rounds left. If if we make the full calendar, it should finish yeah. in Indonesia, Argentina, and Indonesia. But and you've obviously, got with the COVID, nine. anything can happen. We've got nine. Should, we've got a summer break now, so I've still got another four weeks off. And then it's back to back in Austria and then Silverstone, which will be mega because we missed uh, the British Grand Prix last year. And I think we meant to do... Um, Might even get Ed to come to that. It's only an hour, I Ed. I'll come to that if they let yeah. fans in. I'll get you in. Back Is it after there. the 19th of July? We yeah, might get some new August. rules. Yes, yeah, it's, it's August. Oh, they might have Monster, the rules by Monster then. Energy Grand Prix of Silverstone as well, so we should all go and make a nice weekend of it. Yeah, we'll sort of some tickets then. Nice hopefully, ones, good ones. Hopefully Sam can do... Do some winning. Honestly, in my career, if I can win the British Grand Prix, I'll die happy man. And I've, I've really? tried a lot. Oh, Can't man. you remember at the British? I've done that. Remember, yeah. when, remember when Zarko Tom's knocked me off? Yeah. No oh. problem. I was going to say when, uh, when you, do you not remember Tommy, but you you definitely won't. Um, Sam, you, if I'm going to get this correct, I'm going to sound bad if I get this wrong. Did definitely you, get it wrong. at the British GP, run out of fuel, yeah. push the bike back, fill her up, yeah. and then pole? Bang in the chest down pit lane. Bang. Pole. Yeah, That's one of the best sessions. On the last lap. All in one session. Only a 40 minute session. Yeah. Meg, all the marshals and that, getting the bike in the van, push, helping me push back. I was going through the pipe. Where at? MotoGP? Moto2. 2015. Why'd you run out of fuel? Tom. He didn't He's have a pole in the MotoGP. Well, I missed the pit board probably. I was on a good run, so I stayed out. Oh, you just stayed out too long. <laughs> he just did a no, Sam Lowe's and kept riding around to normally, run out of fuel. Normally in qualifying, they, you run low fuel. Yeah. But then I was just, obviously. Got excited. I had very low fuel. Yeah. You didn't have one lap, one go at it. Yeah, one lap, one fly at the end. I've, I actually watched that race, I think, round here. Or was you at the track? No, I wasn't there. No, I watched it in uh, in your room there. That was from Paul. Then I had Paul the, the year after. And it was the first time ever in my career, I think, I actually had a plan in a race. I was behind Zarko. And yeah, Louis, I remember Zarko. And I was sat there, and then, then I passed Zarko, then I passed Louis. And I thought, oh, this, I feel real good here. Next minute, boom, Zarko took me out. I was kicking off in the paddock. To and find then me. that was after that that your career, your, not career went <laughs> my down. My career, that, that was right. it, yeah. I mean, shit, ever <laughs> the since. The turning point. The season no, went back. actually did the career a little bit after no, that's, that. that. And that then season, back on the go. But that yeah. season, you was fighting for the championship lead up until that yeah, point. Yeah, I was second at that point, but within a chance. Close. I, mean, I was shit the rest of that year. You like a little bit of controversy, don't you? Because Zarko got on World the Supers, Super Sport. Yeah, look, Keenan knocked me off. Yeah, last really, night. really ill, spewing up, split your finger. Well, that was Brick, that was Donington. Yeah, yeah, Donington win. Oh, so you won yeah. a GP there. You Texas, won a Super Sport. Super Sport. Texas on a motor two bike, absolute 
Monster high side, oh, then yeah. win. Crack vertebrae. Crack vertebrae won the race. That was terrible, that was, honestly. Went out partying after the race, just won my first ever Grand Prix, loving it. Big Texas Got, hat on. Yeah, loved it, just, you know, <laughs> was happy. Got to about nine o'clock when the painkillers wore off. Oh, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I'd had a few drinks that didn't mix well. I just hit the wall big time. Ran straight. There was no uh, last man standing that night. <laughs> well, you had to go home. <laughs> Someone took me home, I think. But I was, <laughs> it was difficult, but I managed to save the Texas hat, so it was nice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Is that it? No, that's not it, no. Oh. It does have an American flag on it. But This is the, this is the golf brand, isn't it? Yeah, Travis Matthews. Give yeah. them a plug. Cause yeah, you, cheers yeah, for the kid, guys. You can love them, don't you? Love them, yeah. Love me, golf. Do they give you, they pay you or just free product? Not yet. Just trying. Yeah, good luck. They saw a golf swing out. You know, they won't be paying. Nah, no chance. Where's Mr. Lowe's first superbike win? When was it? Yeah. Australia. No, no, that was the first Kawasaki win. Yeah. Good effort, though. You know where was it? Like yeah. Assen. No. no, close. Czech Republic. Oi. Hey. Hey. Bruno. Great, great country. Bruno, what? yeah. Great country. Yeah, Bruno. Lovely right. track as well. Great yeah, it is track. a good track. That's up. It goes up the hill, left, right, up the hill, left, right. Yeah, they're not going there this year, yeah. No. Not a GP, but great track. Yeah, it's Are you cool going track. there? No. We don't. We're going to Czech Republic, but a different track now. No, we've been the one I've Lost. never been to. So. But yeah, a few years ago. Need to win some more this year, really. You, had a, uh, you had a win on the Cowie first... First first go on. First go out. First weekend. And then... First then race. COVID. Then COVID, and then I've not been as fast as I'll just build my way back up. No, you've had one win this year. No, I haven't. Some yeah. podiums, not one. A couple of seconds. I thought you won, the one, uh, thought you won one of the first races at that yeah. first round. Second. Yeah, fucking hell. I'll but take it, though, one Tom. win on Cowie. I'll take it. I don't know. Thanks, Tom. Step it up a bit. Even, I know, mate. How many you won this year? I know, mate. On well, a 450. You actually haven't. You're, you're leading the championship and you haven't won a race. You're not. I'm not leading the championship either, though. So I'm not. I'm doing either. a Steve Ramon. You're doing a Steve Ramon? He actually won a world title. Anyone else won a world title around here? Uh, Sam. Yeah, I've got one. <laughs> I'd love another one. I want a raffle at the do. local <laughs> council. I'd say that is nice when you walk in your house and you've got that, that championship board. I've just took it around his this morning. Joe's just, he's, it has been in my living room since he's been living in Italy, Alaman, everywhere. And I've just had it in the windowsill, pretending it's mine. Pretending I'm a world champion, but That's he nice. wanted it back this morning. I've took I've it, got back. it back. And I've got my house back here, so I've got my trophy in. Yeah, great. Mm. No, I'll try and get another one before I'm done, but yeah, stay with you, doesn't it? Last, last year, nearly had Nine one. points, nine points. It's my turn now. I still have to get my Samsung loaded back Nine points? Is that where you lost it by last year in the end? Lost it by nine points, and I got joint second. But because... And I had won more races than Marini, but uh, no, we won the same amount of races and I had more podiums, but he had one more second place, which yeah. he got in the last race. No, yeah, second by nine points last year. And I was joint, it just had more second I places. I didn't realise it was that close in the end. Yeah, I did the last race well, with a broken last, hand. It would have won. Oh, last yeah. two races with a broken hand. Just, needed. just trying to go too hard in a practice session, like like always. Unnecessary risk we're crash. speaking about. Big though, and Trying all that. to break mm. like record in free practice. And I got up. For and no I, reason. As soon as I was going through the gravel, I thought, oh, my hand's a bit that hurt my hand, that has. I got up, I, I don't remember doing it, but pulled my glove off, looked at my hand. Honestly, I promise you, I looked at my hand and it looked like the bummy whoop section up there. And I thought, <laughs> it's absolutely destroyed. Yeah. Uh, was it destroyed? Just, no. It, it wasn't. Turned, so I got there and I was just It looked like, crying. it looked horrendous. I was crying because I, at that point I was leading the championship. Mm. I was on the scooter. And I was punching Alex on the back because <laughs> I was just wounded. <laughs> it, it didn't really hurt that much and I was just thinking, no, I'm done. Because it looked like... No way. It looked like this part of his hand, the bone was sticking out. I think it was just a blood. Just so when, when I got the x-ray, it was just, um, it was broken in two places, but not, not bad. No. So the next day was difficult to ride. I managed to qualify somewhere. Actually you rode really well, didn't you? And then the last race, I got a podium in the last race. Yeah, mm. and that was... No, I remember. I, don't, I did At that. At one really. point... That was my best ever race, on, I think. It was on, wasn't it? At one, one point, point I was winning, yeah. It was the on. championship was on. That yeah. was after he threw a wobbly in morning warm up records. Yeah. He couldn't run. Oh, yeah, I remember oh, the chat. Oh, yeah, the group chat. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't can run. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell, painful. I remember saying, away, what's up with this yeah. man? He's just got a pole in practice, and now he's saying he don't know if he can do the race. Yeah, but I woke I didn't have no pain. Confidence wasn't high at that point. It was not it? very high now. That's just one of the, the when the belief went. The yeah, it went for the a bit. Belief definitely went. That yeah, day. it did. I was twenty if I saw it in the race. Thinking, oh, no, no, not in the race. You got it back, but in between practice and race, you the said, I, I felt like, I felt like you in the up. race. I had so you bad had arm pump in my left side because I was just couldn't hold on with my right. I my oh, arm yeah, was sometimes like when you have it. Yeah, you was like for the first like half of the race, you was okay. I was catching up. I got into second, and then I was thinking I can win this, and then I just hit a wall. They improved a bit, but. It was a good. I still finished third. I was happy, but good effort. Yeah. Well, mm, considering at the start enough. of the year, yeah, you I nowhere. I didn't, shoulder. I didn't even do the first race. Yeah, broke my it. broke my shoulder. So, yeah, it's nuts when you think of that. Yeah, lucky really. Well, you're um, you're you won a British title, didn't you? In thirteen, same year that Sam won the world title. 
I've won one of them. Did you did you cry when you won it, or did you lift your visor up to make it look like you did? Yeah, <laughs> opened up, I got all the vents opened up. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. No, it was good. A long time ago now, I could do a winning. Could do a winning a bit more, really. It's, it's hard, isn't it? Your great. teammates are fast men at the minute. Yeah. Not just at the minute. Not, he's been fast for a while, really, hasn't he? Well, yeah, I know. He has been fast. But he's got a few world titles already now, so. He's not leading it, though. I feel like your. Um, your Chevy. It's beatable. Your sport yeah. or your championship, is, they're catching up. It's getting closer. Yeah. It's sort of a anyone's yeah. go. Yeah, Kawasaki, they had a big gap when Johnny first went there and Tom won. Yeah. Tom Sykes won there. there was, he was winning. 15, 2015, 16, Johnny was winning races easy, really. Like yeah. 15 seconds just cruising around. But now the. A lot of other bikes and riders have, have stepped up, and it, it's good. The racing's great. Donington man. was mint, what, yeah. mint racing, racing, especially when the weather was a bit hot. Obviously, it gets a little bit of a bad name, World Superbike. It's not MotoGP, but that's what racing this year is the best it's been for a long time. So hopefully, do you know what I like about it? Is there's three goes at it oh, across yeah. the weekend. I love that. I three love bites it. at the cherry. Three bites oh. at the cherry. Yeah, <laughs> it's mint. That um, that's what's bad enough. Shit in yours. Yeah, yeah, when you have it. Also, when you know when you get in a bit of a bad, bad one day. race. Yeah, you go yeah, and crash first lap, yeah, or even just have a bad race. You've got to go for the whole Friday practice at the next race, qualifying at the next race. Then you're back on the grid, and it just adds to the pressure every week. Mm, yeah. You get even two chances is better. Three's three's good. Yeah, if you've got three chances, you need to make sure the last one's good. Cause yeah, because you, you can good go ones, and then a shitter. Good, bad, yeah. good, and you go all right weekend. If you you just go down first lap, you just fucking Motor GP yeah, and yeah. Motor Two would be mint if they did two two, week, races. two races. I don't know why they don't. I don't. Yeah, don't, no, it's just a lot of hype on that one race, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be cool because th- three. I think it's meant. It gives you something to watch as well. Yeah, yeah. it's a good GP race. race it's a bit great, long as well. You could knock three or four laps. Three or four laps less in two races. Two races would be great. Yeah, way better. Because sometimes people get knocked Also, then you could gamble maybe with the tyres a bit. Knock a couple of practices off and all. Fuck yeah. me. You're there Thursday. Yeah, we, don't, we don't ride all week, though, like you. So Yeah, but Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All for Look at you Thursday, just charging ride. on for a few more races. And when they did that in MX Nationals, you fucking moaned. Yeah. No. But you wanted two a day. No, he don't want three a day. Sam to have more. Tommy don't want any more. He's thinking of more stuff to sit and watch on the couch. No, I don't watch them. Yeah, it's true. Same to like, I just think two's bang on. I mean, motocross, I used to have one. When Jamie Dobb won, it was one. So it's, it did go to one. I thought it was one, three yeah. at one point. Uh, never been three. Yeah, if qualifying race was a pr- qualifying. Yeah, point. we've always had a qualifying race, but I don't think it's ever been three main. Three, three no, three not three motos. Motos. No, it's never been three. Just one. In the British Championship, it was one year. Three twenties. I don't mind that. Uh, I bet you don't. Twenties half a race. Nah, because it's twenty plus two, and if you catch it wrong, it ends up like twenty-seven minutes, three times. It's hard work. Is it? I wouldn't want it now, but <laughs> back then I was fit. Back then you loved it. Mm. Right. Well, should we? Um, Wrap it up and go and have yeah, a barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. Yeah, you got. Food, you're not going to charge. You said you're going to. No, charge I'm not going to charge. Come you on, that. we've done this now. Yeah, no, that's that's not, that. you've done this for me. So, you've so paid. because of this, barbecue's free. Okay, now how? Look at this geezer with his shades yeah, on. Yeah, he's got my birthday present. What? What are they? It says Ray Bin. No, Ray Bands. Oh, Ray Band. Mm. Tommy Cruz. Brand new. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you'll be lost them in a week. I'm fat. You've had them about two. I'm surprised you still no, got I've them. I've had them a whole month. I'm surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Day. I'm surprised. Them. I've had them almost a month. Fucking hell, eh? Yeah, it's the same. But when you get shit glasses, you can't lose them, can you? But when you get a nice set, just gone. Yeah, I'll lose them. Um, so then, we're going to do this giveaway for Factory Image Racing, who's the sponsor of the show. Can I do the clutch cover? Do you want a clutch cover? Uh, Sam scuffed a few in his time, so might as well. All right, we'll do, a, we'll do a custom engraved clutch cover. So um, all you've got to do to enter is comment on the YouTube video of of this. So if you're listening, pull over or uh, stop what you're doing. Go onto YouTube, type oh, yeah. in Edub Media, and um, click episode eight and drop a comment. What do they need to comment? Anything? Or just a comment? Sam's Got the it. faster twin. Yeah, just comment who's the faster twin and then we'll be able to know for sure who is the faster one. Or who's got the most fans at least. And then we'll uh, Alex, we'll use the YouTube long. random comment Love. picker like we do for all of them and announce it on the 2 Pro 1 Slow Instagram in about a week. Beautiful. All Sounds good? good. Thanks, lads. Anything nice to add, Thomas? Nah, good times. Yeah. Nice. Tired? Have you worn you out? No, nah, I'm not tired. I said that before. Yeah, you I'm yawned a bit ago. To, yeah, I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> I've not had my nap, nap time, isn't it? Yeah. But I've... Um, but yeah, we'll see you in a couple, of, uh, a few times in the next couple of weeks. I reckon because a couple of good episodes coming up. Yeah, we'll Billy get on the back. We'll stand. get on the um, the two fifty CR two fifty build. Uh, we'll nah. do a podcast with Wob. One with Stan. I'm gonna let them. I want to do an episode with Stan. Next one when Bill's here, have Stan back because now he's famous. Yeah, Stan is famous. Beautiful. He actually is. Have you seen any of Billy's vlogs where he keeps going? He's been on a podcast. Uh, yeah, I watched one of them. 
You don't watch I'm, a lot, do you? You don't watch anyone else's shit. Nah, fuck them. You don't do anything. Yeah, that is you all over that. Yeah. Fuck Let's em. finish with that. Right. Thanks very much, Cheers, Sam. Thanks, Alex. So uh, Thank tune in for the next one. Cheers. Cheers.